Right, good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. I say good evening. It is evening in the UK, but hello wherever you are watching in the world. Uh, let me know if you can hear, hear and see me okay. I'm just going to get the chat working, which was working in the test that I did this afternoon, but of course now we're actually gone live, it's decided to break again. But yeah, let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my office this evening and we're going to be doing a solo... Is the chat going to work? Yes, the chat's going to work. Um, we're going to be doing a solo playthrough of Kanban EV. This is the new edition of Kanban. Uh, it's being delivered to backers. I think some backers have got it early and have it now. Uh, other people will be getting it hopefully over the next few weeks, but there has been obviously various delays with shipping and everything else. Um, yeah, so thank you very much to everybody for joining me in the chat. I've already done a full how to play video on the core game. This tonight's playthrough is going to assume that you have watched that video and you know how to play the base game. Uh, if you haven't, don't worry, you can still watch along, but this video is intended to complement the first one. I'm not going to be going over all of the rules of the game again. I'm going to be going over what are the differences for the solo game. Um, so yeah, that video and this video together combined will give you everything you need to play. Right, now, although this is going to be a solo playthrough tonight, I'm actually going to be playing it with a friend of mine. So uh, if I press this little button here, I will say good evening to Andy. Oh, you've got all quiet again. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's having the occasional microphone issue where he, he occasionally goes really quiet. Um, so the image is still a bit stuttery, apparently. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm seeing that. The image is a bit stuttery. OK, what I'm going to do is I, bear with us a minute. I have had this before. I'm going to pause the broadcast and then I'm going to come back in uh, and I'm just going to reset it. And OK, hopefully that is working again and we are back live. I'm hoping we're back live. Uh, if we are back live, let me know. Um, I have rebooted the software and then the software had an issue, which I've had to very, very quickly fix. But yeah, let me know if we're, if we're back live. And Andy's back as well. Andy's got a microphone working. Yep. Hey. Hope you can hear me. Right. So the reason I've invited Andy on is a few reasons. Uh, Andy actually has his own YouTube channel, One Man and His Meeple. Uh, and Andy does a lot of solo playthroughs and has played this before solo using Tabletopia. Um, and we've played a, a Vital Lacerda game together before solo, playing two-player, which was on Mars. We did, yes. Yeah. Uh, Vital is in the chat. Thank you very much for joining. And he says, what is happening? Can't see anything. Oh. Well, it's good for Scott and it, it seems good for me. So <laughs> press F5, Vital. Press F5. Get a, get a refresh. Um, so yeah, so basically the way this is going to work is me and Andy are going to be playing this game together as a solo game we're going to be talking about our decisions that we've made that, that we make during the game um, and it's just one of the things i like to do i, I like to play uh, solo games but with somebody else helping out so the first thing we're going to do is we yeah if you're if you're seeing the chat and your video is not working come out go back in and it should be working fine the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give you an overview of how the solo game works and that is we're actually playing against two automated players. We have uh, this one here, this is the yellow, the white meeple. Uh, this is a Mr. David Turtsy. Uh, we have the black meeple, which is a Mr. Vittel Lacerda. That's their official names in the rule book. Now we only have one score marker, which is ours. We're playing purple. We start on 15 points. Uh, and what's interesting is at the end of any week or at the end of any meeting, if we have zero points or fewer, we are actually fired. Uh, we, we lose the game immediately. So our first objective is, is not to get fired. Um, but if we don't get fired, Andy, how does the end of the game work? What, once the end of the game happens, is it just our score? Uh, the end of the game is triggered when we've had uh, three of one type of meeting and two mm -hmm. of the other type of meeting. Uh, we have the end of the week meetings when yep. Sandra goes through a full uh, cycle and goes back to her office. And we have uh, the, um, the the bigger meetings that... Yep. Um, for the, when, for the cars when the, when the car goes all the way around the track yep. over here yeah but are we trying so, to get a certain amount of points at the end or are we just beating our own score yeah i think there's um there is a rating in the solo reference book for right. solo play um there are some ranks okay um of which you would aim to be musketeer which is well let's best. let's see how well we do and we'll look up our rank at the end uh yeah. scott is still getting some stuttering yeah i can see that stuttering here uh, there's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Um, it, is the, it is the broadcasting software. It was working fine in the test this afternoon, but right now, 
yeah, it does seem to be stuttering a bit. So apologies for that. Uh, there is, it's outside of my control, I'm afraid. There's, there's not much I can do. Um, so the setup of the game. Here's how it works for the solo game. You set it up as if it's a three player game. So we have the three player test track on here. We have all of this set as normal. But in each department, we only have one award tile on the last space with one speech token on. Uh, us and uh, Mr. Turtsy, we start off at the bottom of each training track, but Mr. Lacerda has already got one point of training in each of the five areas. Okay, so that's, that's how that's set up. Uh, now, you, for those people who know the multiplayer game, you may notice we've only got one of each factory goal. Normally, there are two of these, two of these and two of these. But in the solo game, there is only one of each. Okay, so they were decided randomly. Uh, the rest of the setup is as per normal. We've got three random, uh, three random parts in the recycling. Uh, we draw a normal uh, Kanban order card to decide what's in there. We have these as normal. This is all as normal. We have four performance goals as normal. We have a, an end game scoring tile as normal. So the only other differences are we actually get four of these performance goals at the start of the game instead of three. Uh, and if I press this little button here, we've got a bit of a zoom in. So you can see these are the four performance goals that we've been dealt. And you can see the four performance goals for the meeting uh, here. OK, so these these are on there. Uh, so that that's normal. But normally you would start with three performance goals in a multiplayer game. We've got four. Player board is as normal. Uh, bank shift is as normal. And I think that's it. I think that's the only changes to the setup, apart from what you see over here. So what you see over here, uh, there are two decks of cards for the solo game. We have the plan cards. Now, there is a reshuffle card, which is on the bottom of the deck. OK, so that goes here. Uh, and then the rest of the cards were shuffled and three of them were laid out here like this. OK, we'll come on to those in a minute. We also have these selection cards. There are 18 of these. Uh, these are shuffled as well. Yeah, that stuttering is quite bad, but I'm not sure if there's anything I can do other than rebooting my my whole machine. If it is bad enough, uh, let me know and I can do that if needed. I shouldn't need to, but yeah, if you want me to reboot it, let me know. Um, it's, it's also coming up on the Skype. I'm getting the same pause. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's actually my system, it seems, is actually quite slow. Uh, so I don't know why. Um, it's, it, I've closed everything down. Um, the only thing I can suggest is me doing a full system reboot that I don't really want to do. But I will do if it is a problem. So yeah, let me know in the chat if it's a problem. Um, I'm closing everything else down on my machine. Nothing else is actually running apart from Skype and my broadcasting software. Uh, I don't happen to have that running. The stuttering is quite bothersome. Um, okay, so yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll finish, I'll finish this bit uh, and then we'll give a quick reboot. Give you time to uh, to go and grab a cup of coffee or something like that. It'll take about a minute to reboot. It shouldn't take me too long and then, and then I'll come back in. But yeah, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, score as most points as we can. We're trying to avoid being fired. Um, and I think that's about it. Now, a very quick overview of, of, of how this game works. Um, the department selection for our two AI players is done using a combination of these cards. And these cards will also determine what they do. Now, what we're, we're going to do for tonight is rather than explaining every single rule uh, up front, we're going to start playing. And then as the AI players do their thing, that's when we're actually going to explain that. Now, there is one last bit of setup that we need to do, because those of you that have played the multiplayer game um, will know that just before you start playing, you do new employee inductions. And this is where everybody starts off with some stuff. In the solo game, this is slightly different. So what we do is we take the design tile on top of the central stack, which is this one, um, and we take the car part corresponding to the one that isn't here in logistics. So this is a green battery, and that's what we get. So that is our starting ones. It's fixed what we get. We didn't have any choice on that. Um, our certification marker, so we can actually start on any one of these four spaces here. Now, Andy, which one do you think we should start on? Well, uh, bank shifts is always useful. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the books for education, I, I, I feel. Yeah. Um, the 
the car part not so much but going first is also nice but i, I would go for uh i would go for the book personally okay well we'll go we'll go for the book so we go on there and we get that bonus so we get one book that we can spend on training then we place Mr. Turtsy's certification marker. Now, Mr. Turtsy would go on position three if it wasn't occupied. Because it's occupied, it goes on four. Mr. Lacerda goes on position one, or if it was occupied, on position two. Now, when I say positions one, two, three, and four, that's going that way because, um, yeah, this is position, this is certification order that way. Um, so, yeah, that is the rest of the setup done. And the other thing, as I mentioned, we've only got one score marker. So we gain points, but every time either of our opponents gain points, what actually happens is we lose points instead. And that's how we can drop below zero. OK, so the voice is clear. Um, the stutter is quite bothersome. So I am going to reboot. So just bear with us one minute. I am going to reboot my system. I will then call Andy back and I will start the broadcast as soon as possible. So I'll be back in one minute. All right, I think I'm back online. I think I am broadcasting again. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for, for sticking with me. And if you are in the chat, please let me know um, if it has come back all right. I am just calling Andy now and we'll get him back. Andy wants to connect to me. Yes, let's do that. Um, there we go, right. So I'm calling Andy now. But yeah, let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. It is back, excellent, thank you. Hello. And Andy's back as well. Right, hopefully that's fixed the stuttering problem. <laughs> we will see. Let us know if it is any better. It looks better. So yeah, sometimes switch everything off, turn it all back on again, and it seems to work. So apologies for that. That hasn't happened for months. Right. Gameplay. Um, Sandra starts off the game here. Uh, we've got the department selection and we choose first, I believe. No, it's, it's done in certification order, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So um, what happens now is we have the departmental selection phase. Lacerda is choosing first. So what we do is we draw one of these selection cards and then we have a look at it. And on it is printed either the top or the bottom. And that tells us whether we take the top plan card or the bottom plan card, okay? So it says the bottom. So we take that and we put that here. And then this icon here on the plan card tells us where Lacerda is going to go. So Lacerda is going into the design department. The soda always goes on the bottom space if it's available. If it's not available, he will actually skip that department and go to the next department. Right, next to choose is us. So where are we gonna go, Andy? Which department do you fancy going in? Uh, there's... Um... Bearing in mind our goals and the combined factory goals and, and what we've got. <laughs> There's at least some red designs this time. There are, design. yes. Um, Lacerda's going into design, so we don't really want to take a two, the two shifts in design, I wouldn't have thought. No, no. Um, it's nice to have a lot of parts, I guess, or... That's what I was thinking, because we've got two electronics here, and we could go in, play one of our cards, and get another, and just fill up on electronics. I shouldn't have that. Yeah, you should. Should I? Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, I thought that was left over from the previous game. Um, yeah, that would give us more electronics than we can shake a stick at, but recycling needs some electronics. So Yeah, that's good. Should we go to logistics then? Yes, let's do that. And the three? Yes. Uh, this is always a really tricky decision about whether you go for the two or the three. The two you go first, but you only get two shifts. Right, now we're going to look at where Mr. Turtz is going. So again, we draw a selection card. It tells us to use the bottom card. Uh, so the bottom card now is this one, which means Mr. Turtsy is going to assembly. Now, Mr. Turtsy always goes to the top. So Lacerda goes on the bottom space, uh, Turtsy goes on the top space. Right, that is the department selection phase done. Then what we do is we do the work phase, and this happens again, top to bottom, in order. So what we have is we have Mr. Turtsy working in assembly. And this card here actually gives you uh, a summary of what they're going to do in, in graphical form. Um, but the first thing that they do, either of the AIs, whenever they work, is the first thing they do is they gain one training in that area. Now, one of the, when one of them becomes certified, we'll go through what that does. Uh, and then the next thing that happens is if any of these were full of parts, we clear them. And then they're basically going to put a car on, aren't they? 
Uh, oh, I, I tell you what, there's there's a step of setup that I've just realised I've not done. Um, because they should start with some designs, shouldn't they? Yes, I they think? should. The top four, I think, off the. Um... Uh, yeah, where is that? I did it earlier on. Four random designs with upgrades. With no Four X's. random up upgradable designs from the central stack. Right, that's so right. that's these. I'll take these now. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they should go there. Now these designs are actually shared between the between the two players. So, yeah, Brett is right as well. We had the battery. You you took it away and then gave yourself some electronics. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. It's because I've got all this big pile of resources here. <laughs> uh, I recycled it. That's what I did. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, yes, so what is it doing? We've got a summary card here. It tells us what we do. Assembly. So we're selecting a part uh, and providing it from the supply to a car that needs it. So what you do is you actually check on the back of this card, Sandra's position. So we look at where Sandra is. Sandra is in administration. That means that the car that they want to provide parts for is the sports car, the red car. So Mr. Turnsey is going to provide a car to the sports car. Which part is he going to supply? That's on the selection card. So the other card tells you which part they're going to supply. Now, there are certain rules if you know how to play the game. Um, you, you can't have two of the same part in here. And also, if there's been any upgrades to that car, those have to be supplied first. In this case, this is very simple. We're just going to take a battery and we're going to put it on there. And then what that does is it pushes the cars along. Now, sometimes pushing the cars along will have a choice. And Mr. Turtsy and Mr. Lacerda have different, um, you know, they have different thoughts about where they're pushing them. In this case, it pushes to the left. So this comes along here. Uh, this goes up there. And then instead of that going up there, it actually goes to there. If it was Mr. Lacerda, it would have gone to the middle instead. I think that's right, Andy, isn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, right. Um, and that's what Mr. Turtsy does. If Mr. Lacerda was doing that, it would be slightly different, okay? Um, but that is Mr. Turtsy done. It's now us. Right, we've got three shifts to spend. We don't have any bank shifts, so we can only spend the three, but we do have a book if we wanted to do any particular extra training. Now, I think we should play a Kanban card because that kind of pays for itself. Yeah, well, you get a bank shift for the next, yeah. for a later turn. Yeah, so we're going to spend one of our three shifts to play a Kanban card, and playing a Kanban card gets you one bank shift so it's effectively free but we're spending time now in order to get time later right which one of these do we want to play just where well, we have no upgradable designs so we have we no upgradable designs at the moment and the upgradable designs in the in the offer are well the, the good ones are the chassis the battery and the and the electronics well we've got both the cards give us batteries or chassis yeah um do we need any more batteries i don't think we do do we have one i yeah i'd say let's take a if, if we load up on chassis actually we can get um three chassis parts for one action then can't we, we can so we're going to place this card now where do we want to place it so we get two i'd say so we look so we get three chassis parts in that bin and then we can take all yeah. three yeah now we can't recycle any chassis because they've already got them but do we want uh, do we want a drivetrain or do we want an engine or does it not matter i think we have to put the drivetrain into the into the um slot don't we into the bin and and the two chassis parts and then we can choose to empty any one yeah in, but we could put it there oh i see what you mean yeah that would give us a battery and an engine i'm not sure it matters at this point so let's let's put it there and see what happens so we get a battery into the warehouse we get uh, an engine into the warehouse and we get two chassis no i don't think we get the chassis parts then do we yeah, because the chassis is below the line. I thought you only filled up the parts. It's if they're on the right side of the line. So this is the line here. Chassis is on this side of the line, therefore we get them. Oh, okay. You may have been playing it wrong. Yes, I might have been. <laughs> yeah. 
So we get the chassis because they're on this side, and everything that's on this side, if it matches, we get that as well. Okay. So that's that done. That's one of our one of our three shifts spent. So then we're going to spend a second shift to take these three chassis parts. Now we do have a limit on how many we can store. So we've got one left. What do we want to do with that one shift? Should we train? I would train because yeah, I'm just because you don't want to be and... you don't want to be at the back, do you? You want to try and avoid it. Yeah. So we're going to train. There you go. That's our three shifts spent. We could also spend our book to do some homework, but I think we should save this for a point where we could actually gain yeah, something. I, I agree. Yeah, to actually jump up into the um... yeah. Right. So that's our go done. Now we do Mr. Lacerda. So Mr. Lacerda is in. Uh, is in the design department. Again, first thing he does, trains. Uh, then what we do is he's going to take two designs. And what we do again, we look at this chart here, uh, and we look at where Sandra is. Sandra is in administration, so we're taking these two. And what actually happens with these two designs is, if it's an upgradable design, in other words, one that has a car part in the top left, that's going to go to the bottom of the stack. If it doesn't, so if it's got an X, then they actually score two points, which means we lose two points, and then this tile goes to the bottom of the central stack. Okay, so that's the first thing that happens. Um, take two design tiles, uh, and then what Lacerda does, because he's special, he also takes the top tile from the central stack, which unfortunately that's is another non upgradable one. So that's we only lose if another two points. Paul. Say again? That's only if he's certified. Oh, that's only if he's certified. Yes, thank you. Okay. That's the other reason we've invited Andy on. <laughs> to correct me when I get it wrong. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So what, what Lacerda does, if he's not certified, is the same as what Mr. Turtsy does in design. Right, okay, because sometimes it's different. Yeah. These slide down. Okay, and that is Mr. Lacerda done. Now so, we do Sandra. So on the first turn of the game, Sandra does her filing, paperwork, nothing happens. The last thing that you do at the end of each, uh, at the end of each day is you check the icon on the bottom of this plan card, the one that's left over. And then we draw a selection card and we look to see if any recycling can happen in this case. And I'm just going to reread this because I want to make sure I get this right. End of the day. If and only if the one remaining uh, plan card has one or more parts depicted on the bottom of it, choose another part by flipping a selection card. If the part from the selection card forms a valid recycling pair with the part on the plan card, i.e. one is present in recycling and the other one isn't, then the recycling happens. So this is what happens. The drivetrain gets swapped out in recycling for an engine. Okay? It just represents that some recycling has happened during the game. That is the end of the first day. So we discard these cards to their appropriate discard pile. And then we go on to round two. So again, we start with the department, so, oh, department selection phase. The first thing we do, we draw two cards from this pile to make the three card display again. And now we are going to do Mr. Turtsy. So we draw a card. It is the top card, which is this one, which means Mr. Turtsy is going to R&D. We're going up there. Right, it's us. Where are we going to go? We are stocked up with parts. Well, we don't Do we want to go, go assembling? Day. Yeah, I'm thinking either assembly or pick up some more designs. So our two options are we could go to assembly, dump a load of these parts to make loads of blue cars, and then try and pick up a blue car, because there is a demand for blue cars, or even green. That would get us lots of speech tokens. You've already got the blue design as well. We've got the blue design as well. Or we come down to here and pick up these two because these two are green. And that will give us more books as well. And it gives us more books, but it also, we could get these as upgraded designs and upgraded, uh, sorry, tested designs. And tested yeah. designs in this game are actually really important. I think the thing is you don't want to push all those cars out onto the test track before, because Mr. Turtsy and Mr. Lacerda are vicious for going in there and just swiping those right okay so uh i would i would get the designs first and then do the assembly and then go to um r d in that okay. order 
the only downside of going into the design department this time. Oh, Mr. Lacerda's there. Mr. Lacerda's still there. So we're, we, we will only get two shifts instead of three. Well, you only want two parts. and We, we do only want two parts? It's just, oh. Uh, two designs. Yeah. And then we could spend our book to train one, and you'll be picking up two books, so that will pay for itself. The other thing, if we're not careful, is Sandra is going to go here. She is. And what that's going to do is we're then going to be evaluated. We will be the least. And we're going to lose one, two, three, four, five points. Well, the, the trouble is there's not much we can do about that. Even if there you is. Go to us, yeah. We could go there. And train. We can't upgrade and we can't take a car. So all we can do there is train. Which is not bad, but she's going to go to assembly anyway. Then and she'll go to assembly, we'll get evaluated in assembly. And we have no carts, so we're going to lose the same amount of points. Oh. You can't escape Sandra. We cannot <laughs> escape Sandra. So, th this, is a, this is another swinging factor. If we were to go in assembly this turn, yes, we lose the points for here, but it means we're now safe for here, because we're trained. Train. Where's Lacerda's going to go to logistics? Lacerda is either going to go to logistics or logistics. Yeah, so we know he... Lacerda's going here. And we'll be second to pick next turn. Yeah. And well, we'll be picking before Lacerda. So we can get in number. Th we can get into the three slot on the um, test track. We can. OK, yeah. well, let, let's do that then. Let's go to um, assembly and get some yep. cars out. Right, so we've gone to assembly. We're now doing Lacerda. It takes the top card, which is that one, and goes to logistics, which is there. And then Sandra goes to the first available slot here. Now, the other thing, although this is sort of a three-player game, there is a special rule for the two-player game in that when you are moving your meeple, you cannot go into the department where Sandra is, and that two-player rule, that rule is, it does apply to the solo game as well. So Sandra can move to the same department as we're in, but we can't move to the same department that Sandra's in. Not that that happened now. I just wanted to mention it in case it comes up. Right. So we're now resolving. We've now got the work phase. It is Mr. Turtsy first. You need so to first thing it. he does is train. And then, according to this little handy dandy sheet, he upgrades a design from the colleague's shared design stack, add the part value and gain points. Right. So this shared design stack here tells us what he's going to upgrade. So he's going to upgrade the... Uh, the autopilot in the concept car. So we take an autopilot um, from here. Is it? Yeah, it is that, isn't it? And then what we do is we look at the concept car and there is an order of priority as to which space he's going to uh, choose. And that is, uh, where is it? R&D, here we go. Um, Performs the upgrade corresponding to, yeah, so order of preference. If there's a point space, he gets that. Then it's a bank shift space, which there is. It is there. Now, they don't get any benefits of these spaces, but it just tells you which one is blocked. So that just, gets blocked. Just blocks uh, us off. This tile is then upgraded. So that gets flipped over and goes here. Um, and then what happens is we move this part marker along to here and scores those points. Now, we don't normally score those points when they get moved, but... Mr. Turtsy does. So Mr. Turtsy scores two points, which means we lose two points. Do they get the two points for flipping over the upgraded tile? No, they just get the two points from, or the, the number of points for moving those it's parts. It's just along. that. So instead yeah. of that, it's, it's just that. Right, okay. But that gets higher every time. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is going up each time. Right, and then Mr. Turtsy will claim the most valuable car from behind the test car, which there isn't any. So, I guess he just doesn't do that bit. No, he does nothing. Yeah, then. if there are no cars on the test track, this action is lost. Right, so that is Mr. Turtsy done. Now it is Sandra. So Sandra evaluates everybody in this department with the least shifts, which is us. Oh, sorry, with the least training, which is us. Uh, and then we get evaluated. So do we meet the requirements of the R&D department, which is to have... Uh, more than two upgraded designs. We don't have any, <laughs> so we lose points. So it's one plus one for each bank shift short of five. So we lose five points. 
this could be a very, very early finish game. <laughs> we'll just start again and do another one. We'd have to start again and do another one, definitely. Right. We just need to get points. We need to get points really quickly. Okay, and then what Sandra does is she advances the test car, because that's what her departmental task is. That is Sandra done. Now it is up to us. Is there a player aid for the solo with all of the detailed stuff on it? Yes, this. And I'm referring to this. It has got all of the actions for all of the different departments and the, the bit on the back. So yeah, this is really, really, really useful. Right, here we go. We've got three shifts. We should be able to get some points here then. Yeah, now we're going to have to train twice because otherwise we're going to get penalised next turn. When Sandra moves to here... Yeah, it's not sufficient to be equal. We're going to have to no, be better so than I, I think we're going to have to spend our book and yep. one of our three shifts training twice. Yep. Now, that leaves us two shifts, which means we can put two cars onto the track, which means we are going to get some points. Yes, we could spend the other point becoming certified. The other, we could spend another shift becoming certified there. Just to, we could. I'm not saying we should, but we could. Oh, but that will get us up because here. That's, and that's Ooh. two points or five points, maybe. I quite like that. It does mean that we're not going to push any cars out onto the track. Again, do we want to push loads of cars out? No, onto because the track? we're going to design next, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Right. I I found that uh, Mr. Turksy and Mr. Lazerda are um, very good at pushing out cars for you if you just when they go there. Right. Okay. So yeah, we're going to spend another of our shifts and we're going to train again. So this is another another rule we need to teach you now. And this only applies in the solo game. The first player to become certified scores two points. That doesn't happen in the multiplayer game, but it does in the solo game. So we score two points um, because we are the first player to be certified in there. And because we're certified, two things happen. We first of all, we unlock, which one is it? Is, is it the garage? <laughs> it's this one. We've unlocked our fifth garage and if we look at the certification track here, we now move our little certification marker up to the next section. Do we want the three points because we're desperate for points? In the solo game, I would always take points, but... Yeah, I... I, it, I know it puts us in last position. Well, it, it puts us in last position until... It puts until we get certified again. Yeah. I, I think based on how many points we just lost, I think we need the points. I agree. Okay, so we're going to grab the three points. The, the, the first meeting is real skin of the teeth stuff, so... Yeah, yeah, we definitely need we definitely need the points. Right, so that's the certification done. That is our... That is all of our shifts spent. Um, well... No, we didn't actually push a car out. We've got we one haven't pushed a car out, no. So what, what have we done? We've trained one, two, three times, but one, one of those the was the book. Yeah. So we do have one shift left and we do have a bank, and a bank shift. shift if we really want to use it. I don't know whether we do. I'm not sure we do. No. OK, so what we're going to do, I think a chassis. Yeah, we can't get a blue car out, but we get that grey car out for one point. We could get the grey car out for one point, but there's no demand for grey cars. No. How about we push maybe a blue car to here? Well, in that case, then it might be worth spending the bank shift to get the blue or the or a green car. You could get the green car out with the bank shift as well for two for two more points, and and the um, speech token from the oh demand. because we get the speech token. Well, Sebastian's saying don't push any cars. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the book. Yeah, Sebastian. I I think I think I see what he's saying because if we just push one car. It's We're not nothing. getting anything out of that. No. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think we should spend all of our three shifts on training, keep the book, and don't actually do anything in assembly. We'll wait for them to do it, and then we'll sneak in, and we'll push them out onto the conveyor belt. Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah, I'm good right. with that. There we go. We're done. So, let's see what Mr. Lacerda is going to do. Uh, he's in logistics. What does he do in logistics? 
he issues a Kanban order. So we take this card. Oh, that should have gone to the to bottom, bottom of the deck, and we yeah. should have had a replacement. Uh, so he takes the top Kanban order card, and then what you do is you look up, um, depending on where Sandra is, to see where it is. So first of all, the one with the two symbols goes at the top, and then you look at where Sandra is. So Sandra is in R&D, so it is placed like that. Okay, so that, they, that card basically tells you where it's placed. Um, is that right, or have I done it the wrong way around? Might have done it the wrong way around. Let's just have a look. Logistics. No. Two symbols oriented with the matching warehouse. Okay, no, I got it wrong. It's that yeah, just way. the other way up, but slid up because yeah. of where Sandra is. Yeah. That's it. So it's two two electronics here, uh, and then an autopilot, a battery, and an engine. All up there. So there's the engine. There's the autopilot. There's the battery. Okay, and then that card disappears to the bottom. So that's the first thing he does. Uh, and then what he does is we select a part and we empty that warehouse. <clears throat> so the part on here tells us which part he wants to take, which is electronics, takes all of these, keeps one of them, discards the rest. Uh, we do, however, have to train him, which is what I'd forgotten to do. So he trains first and then does that. I think that's everything. Yep. As yep. long as he's not certified. Yeah. Okay. Right, that is Mr. Lacerda done. That is the end of the day. Uh, so the plan card that was left is this one. I'm going to slide that up. There is no recycling symbol on there. There's no recycling. And we discard some cards. Right, next round. Department selection phase starts. Mr. Tertsy chooses first. Where is he going to go? Nobody knows. He's going to go to logistics. So he goes down here to logistics. Sandra goes to the next department, which is here. Now, where are we going to go? We're going to go to design? We were. Yeah, so we go to design, and then Mr. Lacerda chooses the top card, and Mr. Lacerda goes to administration. I'm going to slide that up. Right, so the work phase. Sandra evaluates... Now, Sandra only evaluates you as a player, doesn't evaluate the AIs, so that doesn't actually have any effect whatsoever. Uh, and then what Sandra does is her departmental task, I think, is to clear everything. Yes, yeah, right? she, re she removes all the parts from removes all the... All the parts from all the things. Right, there you go. So that's that gone. Uh, and that is Sandra done. Nice and easy. That was a nice one. Yes. Now it is Mr. Tertsey. Mr. Tertsey is in logistics, and all he does is take car parts according to the card. He wants the drivetrain. There's only one of them, so he takes that. If that wasn't there, he'd actually look at the other one. And if that wasn't there either, we'd draw more selection cards from the deck until we found a part that was actually there. He does, however, train. He trains, then takes a car part. That's it, nice and easy. Right, here we go. We've got three shifts, and we have a book, and we have a banked shift. What do we want to do? I think we want these two, don't we? I think so, because, yeah, we yeah. want to get... Yes, I, yeah, definitely. We definitely want those two. Are, you, are we planning to go for a, an upgraded, uh, tested design then? I think so. I think so, on green. Yeah. Even though our goals are red and black. <laughs> well, we only get to play one of those. We, yeah, it, we, we need to decide which one of these goals we're going to try and do in the first meeting. But at the moment, <laughs> None of we're not them. doing any of them. <laughs> <laughs> so... I hate getting certified in admin as well. It... I know, it's, yeah. <laughs> so, that's our first two shifts spent. What else do we want to do in here? Do we want to take another one? I've, I'd rather train. I think so. I think we need to train just to get off the bottom spot. Yep. Okay, so we'll spend our third shift on training. Is that going to be enough? How many books have we got? We've got one. We're going to be getting an extra two. But we can't use those this turn, can we? We cannot use those two this turn. Well, Sebastian but... said use. Sebastian said use the book in design, and I think that's good because it will put us two spaces ahead of Mr. Tertsey. So even if he goes down to design next turn, he'll still be behind us. Yeah, I mean we don't know where he's going to go next turn. No. I think you're right. We'll spend the book. We'll go to there. Okay, 
We are done. So we get our books. These slide down. Yeah, we don't know he's going to go there, but it, it covers us if he does. It does. It does. Whether it, whether it covers us this turn or next turn. And then Mr. Lacerda is in administration. So when Mr. Lacerda is in administration, the first thing he does is he trains in administration. And then he trains in the department where Sandra currently is. Sandra is currently here in logistics. So he trains there. And if he was certified in administration, he'd do that twice. Uh, so that's it. That is Mr. Lacerda done. And that is the end of the round. We have no recycling. So let's get rid of these cards. And off we go again. Two more cards. And oh, it is Sandra Dave, first. Mr. Tootsie himself is saying, did we want to spend the bank shift to get certified? Um, He's giving we, us tips to beat himself. Oh, should we? It's two more points. It's two more points. Go on, let's let's do it. If, if you and agree also on it, Yeah, also it allows us to take designs from the stack. So exactly. Maybe, yeah thank you very much we're going to rewind slightly and we're going to do that because that gets us a much needed two points it's only two points for the first player that becomes certified in each department so by getting that it's actually a four point swing because otherwise mr lacerda probably would have got that on on a subsequent turn yeah um that also unlocks our fifth slot on our desk and it means we can move our certification marker up now, again, do we want the points? I'd be tempted to go for one point and the speech token on this one, but we're now two, we're now two certifications ahead of yeah, but the, but, the rest. Yeah, but Lacerda is going to get definitely at he least will. one certification, possibly two, before Where's... the next meeting. Oh, he will get two now. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking we go on the two-pointer and then we try and get a third one. Because even if we go on the one point, and Lacerda's going to come in in the position above us. You've either gone quiet or you're thinking. No, sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> um, okay. Because that will, that, that's only for the, that's only really important for the meeting where he is on mm -hmm. there. Now. The chat is telling us the bank shift. In fact, three people are telling us the bank shift. Okay. We'll go for the bank shift then. Yeah. It's a democracy. It is. <laughs> and we get a speech token. And a speech so we gain token. a white speech token, which converts into a purple one. Yeah, don't, under don't underestimate the value of the speech tokens. Right, so we got our certification. Thank you very much, David. We've done the end of the round. We're setting up the next round. Sandra. Sandra is going here. Then let's see where Mr. Turtz is going. He's taking the bottom card. He's going to uh, assembly. Okay, and then it's us. So where are we going to go now? Were we going to go? Oh, mm. we need the green car on the track. We could just go up to R and D and do some upgrades and or training. Because we've got we've got two green designs on our desk and we could upgrade one of them and that would get us a nice four point bonus. Yeah. And we could train twice and with some books and we could get certified in R and D. How do you feel yeah, about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a shame we can't pick up we can't do the tested design this time. No. Oh. Did we do you didn't do um Mr. Lacerda in admin. We did. Did we? He, yeah, he trained. He trained in there and in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I I think I think go to R and D. Get some upgrades. Okay. Uh, and then let's see where Lacerda goes. Lacerda is choosing the top card. Right, Lacerda is going to admin, but you can't go in the same department on two consecutive turns. So what we do is it basically loop, whoop, loops around and it goes in this one here. Ah, he doesn't now. go there. He doesn't go there. He doesn't go there? He'd only go into the plus three slot. Oh, sorry, he goes onto the bottom slot. So he can't go there. So he actually goes here. 
Oh, now this might work for us. Well, sort of. We're going to get a lot of cars moving along now, but it, it's, yeah. yeah. But it's after our turn. It's after us, and then we can't go in the same department again. <laughs> uh, what did Mr. Lacerda do last turn in admin? Yes, he trained. He trained in there and in there. Right, so it's our go. We've got three shifts. I'm thinking one shift to train and two books. That gets us certified. Yep. And then at least one upgrade. No, in fact, we can only do one upgrade. Oh, no, we've got a parts voucher. Um, can we? Oh, we can't swap in the in the can, uh, recycling, we, no. We can totally do two upgrades yeah. if we want to. Yep. You happy with that? Yeah, I mean, that could be seven points. It could. Well. We just need a green car. Oh, well, it's actually, it's, it's going to be 11 points because of the upgrade. Yeah, let's do yeah. that. So we're spending, spending one of our shifts and our battery. Uh, and we're going to upgrade the battery in the, the green car, which is the, like a family car, isn't it, or something? Town car, I think. Town, yeah. City car. City car. Then we spend the parts voucher as if it's electronics. And we put that on there. So that's actually got us four points for that, three points for that, and another four for that. That's 11 points. Right, that's got us out of the danger zone, I think. Because now we're safe, we can lose lots of points. <laughs> we'll be back down to three again. Yeah, we've got um, one shift left. And with two books, that's three points of training. Gets us one, two, three. We're the first to get certified in that area. So that unlocks... Uh, what does it unlock? It unlocks... It's the double upgrade. This one? Yep. And we get to move our briefcase up to the next section. Now, what do we want here? This is all looking quite quite nice or well, probably two bank shifts then i or think that. so because that gets our bank shift then to three doesn't it it protects us a bit from sandra yeah and we can use those bank shifts in other places right so we're certified three times which is not bad very different from the test game that i did this afternoon yeah right that is us i believe done um yeah you've just got to move up the I'm pointing oh, this. To the screen, which is hope helpful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That and that. <laughs> That's right. So the value of those parts has increased. Okay, right. We really need to get a green car before we do. Sandra we need to get gets that. down to admin. Yeah. Because yeah. that's a bunch of points then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because Sandra's going to clear those. But we can those. pick from the stack, so. Oh, we can, can't we? Because we're certified. Yeah. So Have we, we should got be time okay. to get to design and then back up to the R&D not sure and hope someone pushes oh they will push out a car mm. hopefully. right so we're now doing Mr Turtsy in assembly so we have it's this this is the part that they're providing a chassis and they're providing it to a car based on the position of Sandra it's spot Which, on it's just it's what the, we want it's the green car it's the city car so the chassis of the green car is provided, but it can't be because the green oh. car has had its battery and its electronics <laughs> upgraded. So this cannot go on that car, but it goes on the next one, I believe, yep. which is this one. So that pushes out one of these trucks. That truck gets pushed along, that gets pushed to there. Now, Mr. Turtsy pushes to the left. So that actually goes here, which means that gets pushed out onto the track. So that goes out into the track. They score one point, which means we lose one point. And that goes behind the test car. Did you do his training as well? And I forgot to do his training. There we go. Training. Okay. I think that's that. Yes. Right. That is Mr. Turtsy done. Now Mr. Lacerda trains. Remember, the two points is only for the first player to become certified. There is also three points for the first player to reach the end of the track, uh, but we'll come to that when we get to it. Um, and Mr. Lacerda, what does he do? Um, in assembly with certification. It's the same thing. But if he's certified, he does it basically does twice. It twice. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be providing a chassis Again, to the green car, can't be the green car, 
So it moves to the truck. Can't be the truck. So it goes to the sports car. So a sports car is made. That gets pushed along. And this time, Mr. Lacerda pushes towards the centre. So that comes along and pushes to there. That pushes to there. And that pushes to there. Which means something didn't come off. Okay. Um, but then he's going to provide a second part. Uh, yeah, twice if certified. So it's the same part again? I was just wondering that. I guess it is. There's um. Yeah, it doesn't say. So it, it'll be the same part again, unless the chat says any anything else. Chat hasn't said anything. Alan's here. Hi, Alan. Thank you for joining in. And Jonathan. Uh, right. OK, so we're going to do another part. It's going to be another chassis. And again, wants to go for the green car, can't be the green car. Wants to be the truck, can't be the truck. Can't be the sports car. Can't be the concept car. This is very oh, yeah, close that's... to being nothing. I don't know what happens if there's nothing available. I think you go to the next part on the next card. It is permitted under the usual rules to provide that part for the chosen car. Oh, if it is permitted, if it is not permitted, choose the next car cycling to the right. If it is not permitted, permitted to provide the car part for any car, the action is lost. No, you skip the action. So that goes to there. That goes to there. And who's this doing it? It's Lacerda. So he pushes to the middle. Yeah. So that goes to there, which means that goes to there, which means that comes off. So what we've got is we've got our green car onto here. That does two things, two points, so we lose two points. But because there is a demand for green cars, one of these speech tokens is removed and they score an extra point. I believe that's right? Yes, I think so. Yep. Yeah, they get the point instead of the speech token. Instead of the speech token. Yeah. OK, but we have a couple of cars on the test track. And one of them is green. So, yeah, we need to get a green car as soon as possible. That would be awesome. Okay. I think that is Mr. Lacerda done. Oh, except for I forgot to do Mr. Lacerda's certification, which I've now done. Is that his so, first one? Oh, that's right. his first one, yeah. We, we managed to get ahead of him on, on all of the others. And did you take the two points off for that? I didn't see that. Two points? For Oh, is it first off? First certified, no, don't it's worry. Only we the were, first we player were first certified, you're right. To be certified, it gets the two points, yeah. Right, yeah. so Sandra is evaluating logistics. The least trained is us and Mr. Turtsy. So we get evaluated, and for Safe. logistics, it's as long as you have three car parts, you're okay. And we do. It's if you have two or fewer that you will get penalised. So we're okay, we don't get penalised. And then what she does is she removes all but one car park from each warehouse yeah done end of the day no recycling icon cards disappear we racing for design here because that's the top card yeah and is that what we're going to do because it's us to go first we're, we can see the cards first oh we see the we? cards yes okay however what you're about to see is something we've not seen before it's the reshuffle card now if the reshuffle card comes out when there aren't three here, what happens is this whole deck gets shuffled back together. Now, at this point, the reshuffle card is actually somewhere in the deck. And during setup, it was at the bottom, but now it's somewhere in the middle. It could be on top. It's not. Right, so they're the three cards. We have design, R&D, and logistics. So we know Sandra is going to go to design next. If we want to go before her, we're going to have to go on the two shift space. Yeah. You've gone quiet again, Andy. Have I? Yeah. Andy's microphone keeps disappearing. Not sure why. Um, I'll try and guess at what he's saying while he while he switches it off and on again. Can you hear me? I think that's what we need to do. Yeah, I'll go there. And if he says otherwise when he comes back, <laughs> we'll do something different. <clears throat> right. Okay. So we are deciding now where Mr. Turtsy is going. Can you hear me? I can just about hear you, Andy. There's a there's a very muffled something in the background. <laughs> but David is telling me what you should be saying. So. Right. 
So Mr. Tertsy is choosing the bottom card. I'm going to logistics. There we go. And now Mr. Lacerda is choosing the top card and he's going to design. Now he can go to design, which means Sandra goes to administration. We are going to have an end of week. Oh, she got there one turn early. I was hoping we would have time to get this design and then go up here and claim the car. But Sandra skips over this department and goes straight to admin. I think you're back. I can hear you now, Andy. Can you get? Can you hear me? I can hear shuffling around. So yes, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with your microphone. It keeps disappearing. I I moused over the. I moused over the um, mute button on Skype, and it all went. Oh right. How but I didn't it? click it. Just moused over it. So I'll have yep. to avoid that. Okay. So I rushed to design, and I went here, but then Lacerda came after us. Yes. And she so, forced her back to her desk, or they yeah, forced her back to her desk. This is going to shake things up a bit. So we're now in the work phase. First of all, Mr. Tertsey trains in logistics. Uh, then what he does is he selects this part here and takes it. Okay, and that's that. Now, there can only be a maximum of six parts between the two of them. So at the moment, that's fine. We've only got three. That's all good. Um, but that's all he does. Right, now it's us. So we have two shifts to spend. We do have three bank shifts. Same rules as normal. You can't spend more than four shifts in a day. We obviously want to grab the green one. Yes. So we take and that. We get a bank shift. Maybe the grey. Seeing as there's a grey car on the track and we're going up there. Yeah. Which one, which one are you thinking? Are you thinking... The bank shift or the training book? Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, Sport I'll take the bank choice. shift one. Yeah, bank shifts now. Yeah. Because that gets us up to five. So that's our, so although we can't spend those bank shifts that we earned this turn, we could spend the ones that we had previously. Do yeah. we want to, or are we happy with what we've got? I, th I think I'm happy with that. So that was our two shifts and not spending any bank that shifts? That was our two shifts and not spending any bank shifts. Yeah, I think I'm cool with that. So we could spend the remaining two bank... We could spend two shifts to get we the... Could spend um, to get yeah, we could spend two qualified. shifts that we had earlier. We do have space on our desk. Oh, more oh, bank shifts to get more designs. I was thinking bank shifts to get fully qualified, take the speech token and whatever is on the token, maybe. Well, how close are we are to the meeting? We're... The... Oh, the, the meeting might be next turn, because if we go to design, we claim both of those cars, Sandra goes there, moves the, moves the pace car along, there's going to be a meeting. Yeah. Now, in the meeting, I, we're going to score this one, if we can. If we're ahead of Lacerda, we can score this one. And we are at the moment. We can all, this one's awesome for us. This is six points. Yeah. This one is actually really good for us as well. Because that would be that would be four points, and we're going to have to play one of our own. But at the moment, none of our own are actually getting any points, so we can no. just bin one. But, but we've only got two speech. Tokens. We've only got two speech tokens. So that, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying now. Um, Sandra's oh. going to. Are we safe from Sandra in? Yes, we are. We're we're certified in three areas. So we're we are certified in three areas. Yeah, we're safe we're... from Sandra's evaluation this we time. Are. So we don't particularly need all the five bank shifts to protect ourselves from her. Okay, I like your thinking. Let's do it. Well, so we spend we, we work a twelve hour day. We work we spend two of the bank shifts that we had coming into this round to basically sit there for six hours reading manuals. Um now that gets us to the top of the track. So we get that speech token, which converts into one of our own, and we get the award tile, which for us is a book. There you go. Right. 
That is us done. Yeah, that's an interesting move, that. Just realised we could have actually taken some of the tiles from the top of the stacks as well. We've forgotten about that. Right, Mr Lacerda. What is Mr Lacerda doing? Mr Lacerda is first training. So Mr Lacerda is now certified, which means that moves to there. And then he is in design. So oh, we take two design tiles and we check the back. And if Sandra is in uh, the administration department, it is the two rightmost tiles. Now they are both upgraded, upgradable tiles. So they go to the bottom of the stack. Uh, and then if he was certified, which he is, he takes the one from the central stack. Now that is a non-upgradable tile. So that goes to the bottom and Mr Lacerda steals two points from us. Uh, Timothy points out we got three for hitting the end of the training track. In oh, that's a good point. Yeah, design. thank you very much. One, two, three. Yeah, the first player to reach the end of a training track gets three points. I had forgotten that, Timothy. Thank you very much. Um, and we're going to get a third speech if we get both cars. Yes, if we get both cars from the training track, that oh, is yeah. this factory goal. Spoke of that. Yeah. And we've nearly got the speech token from the upgraded from, from the upgraded. We've nearly got this one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing all right, I think. I think we're doing okay. Famous last words. Right. There, there's so Sandra some disagreement evaluates. in the chat about how we're playing this, but <laughs> so yes, yeah, so Sandra evaluates us, but we're okay because we're trained we're certified in three departments, so we pass her evaluation. And then we have end of week scoring. Now end of week scoring will only score you for cars that you have in your garage. We don't have any cars in our garage, so we don't get any scoring for that. However, the colleagues during end of week scoring they get two points for each upgraded design they have, and then that design gets removed from the game. So uh, Mr. Turtsy steals two points from us, and that card gets removed from the game. Right, that is end of week. There you go. First end of week has happened. We're now going to the next round. Uh, is there any recycling? No, there isn't. Those get discarded. Those get discarded. Oh, hang on. I think I discarded that one as well. That stays and we get two more cards. Right, so it is Mr. Turtsy first and he is taking the bottom card, which is that one, and going to assembly. And then it's us. And where oh, we go? We were going up to- I need um... to shuffle these down. The chat is probably telling me that I need to shuffle them down. Just spotted. Okay, there we go. Matt's in the chat. Hi, Matt. Thank you very much. And yes, difficulty options. There are nine extra difficulty cards and you can mix in any number of these as you want into the deck, replacing some of the basic ones, I believe. Um, so yeah, the, there is customizable difficulty in the game as well. It's like right. it needs to get harder. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Are, are we going the up to... R&D, I thought. Yeah. Now, are we happy... That Sandra goes there before us? Um, I think we are. We're not, we're still not going to have three cars, are we? No, but we need three shifts to take the two cars. Oh, yeah. I think we're happy with Sandra going before us. Because all she's oh, going to do. We're safe we, from evaluation. We're safe from the evaluation. Yes, of course. Yep, fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. I think we go there. Uh, and we know Lacerda is not going to. R and D because you oh. can see the cards. Yeah, but they're both design, and he's in design. Hold on. So he'll go to administration. Oh yeah, which is fine. Sorted. So he takes the top card, goes to design. Can't go to design. Goes to administration instead. Sandra wakes up and goes over here. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is going so much uh... better than my test game this afternoon. <laughs> so Sandra first. Uh, she evaluates, she doesn't evaluate us, we're safe. She then advances the pace car and everything moves up behind it. And I think that is all that Sandra does. Yes. Okay, done. Right, it's us. Are we just going to take those two cars? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that was the idea, wasn't it? And so taking the first car costs one shift, taking the second car costs two shifts. So three shifts takes both those cars. We need to put these designs in and these designs go to the bottom of the central stack. Right, which garages do we want to put these cars in? 
there are no goals for cars for garages. in specific garages. So we have unlocked the um, the special garage. We have unlocked the special one, but do we want another speech? Oh no, we're going to get a speech. We're going to get this anyway. We've done this factory goal, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that, and we'll have that speech token. So we don't want the speech tokens no, because, because we're already at the max. More bank shifts then. How many books have we got on the playable? We've got one book. We don't have any parts vouchers, and it is quite nice having parts vouchers. We've got a lot of parts though. I know what you're saying. Well, we've got three chassis. <laughs> That's all we've got. We don't have anything other than other than the chassis. Sebastian's saying test the blue design, but there's no upgradable part on the no. blue design, so we no. can't do that, unfortunately. No, that is that is an X. Unfortunately, on that one, you if you can see it, just about is an X. So. Hmm. Where's Sandra going next? How? Sandra is going to be going to assembly next, and we'll, we'll have two cars, which is... So we're safe there. No, 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 you need to have... It's two oh, or fewer, and you get penalised. But we're going to... Yeah, I think the two bank shifts. Okay, because that then puts us not losing many points from Sandra. So I've chosen that one. Where do you want to put this, this green fella? Oh, yeah, there, was, there were two, weren't there? There were um, two parts then i think you were right i forgot there were two it wasn't okay. so, so much of a choice anyway so we take that we take that and we get two parts vouchers there you go right so that was our three shifts spent so we could if we wanted to use a bank shift from last turn and our book to get up to the top of the track but i don't think we need to I think we're going to be coming back here again before the end of the game. So I, I don't oh, yeah. think we need to rush the end. I think that's what Vital's saying we should do, though. Is he? Yeah, but what does he know? <laughs> and yes, the pace car is going to move two spaces. I hadn't forgotten that. Oh, well, that triggers the... Um, Which the triggers a meeting. meeting. Yeah. I think hang fire on that train. Yeah, I... What do you think? I agree. Hang we fire? can save the right. book to get certified somewhere else later. Yeah. Okay. So now it is Mr. Tertsey. Uh, what does he do? He clears where there is all three, and then he's going to use another chassis. Oh, it's a chassis again. Now, this, is, this might not happen. He wants to put a chassis, and the car that he wants to upgrade depends on the position of Sandra. So it's the black car. It's the concept car. But the concept car cannot have a chassis on it. Nope. This one already has a chassis. The green one cannot have a chassis. So I, it doesn't do anything. It actually skips. Does it? He doesn't take the next part nope. from somewhere. No. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it says um, if it is not permitted to provide the part for any car, the action is lost. Yeah. So because these cars have already had their chassis put on, nothing actually happens. I Except he did try. Yeah, it won't cost us points, but it would be nice to get more cars it, out. Although... It would. <laughs> it would. It would. Right, we're now going to zoom down here to Mr. Lacerda. Mr. Lacerda trains, gets two points for being the first person to be certified in admin, and has, he has jumped ahead of us. <sighs> oh, that's a pain. That is a real pain. Right, he then trains uh, twice in the department where Sandra is because he's certified. So that is here. One, two. Okay. Yep. Done. We are now having a meeting. So here's yeah. how the meetings work in the solo game. Mr. Lacerda has one speech token. It's one speech token because this is meeting number one. If it was meeting number two, he would have two speech tokens and then three for meeting three and so on. Mr. Tertsey always has three because as we all know, David likes to talk a lot. So we love you, David. <laughs> and that's coming from somebody who also likes to talk a lot so you know what i mean but it's still resolved in certification order but mr lacerda goes from left to right and always goes on the most valuable space uh well they both go on the most valuable space but uh, mr lacerda always gets the highest value mr tertsey always gets the lowest value 
I think uh, Vital is pointing out that we've now got a tested design. I didn't know they got retroactively oh, we do. Yes. upgrade and tested. Yeah, we so do. That's cool. These no, are tested the designs. One. Thank you. Oh, both of them. Well, yeah, because tested yeah, designs go above cars. your board. Yeah, excellent. Right. So, meeting is resolved. The certification order. Mr. Lacerda is first. Mr. Lacerda basically goes on here and gets the points from it. Whether, whether he's done it or not, he talks at the meeting and gets the four points. So we lose, we lose four. Right, it's us. You know, We've got you know four what, speech if, tokens. If he, even if he hadn't gone ahead of us, we'd still have wanted the, the second goal anyway for six points. Oh, well, actually, yeah, because if we'd have gone on there, he'd have gone on there. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're going to... Well, no, should we... Oh, it doesn't actually matter. Well, now Mr. Turksy's going to play from right to left. Yeah. But we're happy with the times two on this one. We can't get any better than times two on that no. one. So I think we just take this one for six points. Yeah. Yeah, sure. There's, there's nothing in our hand that's any use to us, is there? No, no. So Mr. Turksy comes along. And this is the bit we weren't sure about. Although he's only ever getting the times one, um, does it go on the top space? I think from the standard rules, you play to the top space on any card, whether yeah. whatever, whichever multiplier you're getting. Right. Yeah. So it goes on the top space, but scores as if he's got a, a one multiplier. So that's two points. So we lose two. Uh, back to Mr. Lacerda. He doesn't have any speech tokens left. Back to us. So we go on this one and we get four points because we've got two upgraded designs. One, two, three, four. Uh, then Mr. Turtsy comes along and goes on here and gets two points. Right. What do we want to do? How many have we got left? Two. We have two speech tokens left. We've only got one book there, right? We, we only have one book. We can only, yeah. I think it's probably worth playing our performance goal because we have to, but then possibly just skipping. Do you have to put, I think, do you have to put a token on if you no. play, when you play your performance goal? Nope. Okay. But the rule is, if you play your performance goal and place a token in the same step, the token has to go on the performance oh, goal. Oh, right. Okay. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. I knew there was something like that. But I, I think we just play one of these to get rid of it and then just pass and keep our, keep our speech tokens. You don't want to go for two points on the book? Goal. No, I don't. I think a speech token is worth more than two points. I think we can get more for it. Yeah, yeah, sure. But it's which one of these do we get rid of? Red cards are nearly coming, so let's keep the red card one for yeah. sure. Um, are we really going to get certified in admin? I hate that goal. <laughs> but if we do, we'll get five certifications, and if we're the first to get five certifications we're going to get a boatload of points and another token. Okay. It might be worth it. Um, oh, let's just have a look at our end game conditions. Have seven bank shifts. Yeah, Vital says black car and I agree. What, get rid of it? I think yeah. so too. So seven, this is what we're aiming for at the end of the game. Seven bank shifts, three books, and at the end of two training tracks. We're, we're looking good for these. So. We're going to play this one. Uh, yeah, whatever. And then we're going to pass. Okay. And then Mr. Turtsy comes along and goes there and gets two points. And that is the end of the first meeting. So what happens now is we clear all of these speech tokens. Uh, these all disappear. We don't need those anymore. And then we have to play two of our performance goals onto here. So which two are we going to play? Uh, do we think we're going to get a red car in our garage before the next meeting? I'd say that's very likely. We'll, we'll have the opportunity anyway. Although there's only one in the, uh, only one design out there. There's only one design. We can't take from, the, there's no red ones on the top. We'll there are no cars on the test track at the moment. There's no demand for red cars. No. What's worth the least if 
uh, the admin one is worth the least if you put it on the. Oh, you can't choose the space that they get shuffled. It, they, they'll get shuffled, but I'm thinking those two. And keep the red one for the for the third meeting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then what yep. we do is we add two more randomly from the deck, and then these all get shuffled and they get placed out. Because unlike the multiplayer game, the order of these is important. Yes. Aflo, Aflo Plouf is pointing out you the uh, your final ranking isn't just based on your score, it's also based on other achievements like becoming fully certified. Oh right, in okay. all departments and so on. So well, I'll I'll play this game not knowing that, <laughs> and we'll look up at the end to see how well we did. Right, the meeting is over. That goes back there. We've had one meeting and one end of week. Uh, right. So just just to clarify what the performance goals are, now we have the administration one that we put on there. We have the points for the parts vouchers which we put on there. We have upgraded engines. Of which we've got none we haven't have any and we have different types of car in your garages which is good for us it's okay it's worth the, a lot as well look. the three new performance goals that we draw are points okay. for either batteries or electronics uh i think that's upgraded designs i'll just check that and points for green cars uh card number 27 is two points for each design oh it's designs on your just, player board just just having designs. Just having designs on your player board. Right, okay. Right. Oh, okay, David's got to go. Off. Thank you very much. Joining in, David. I think we're on the next round. Yeah, I think yes, we are. I'm just trying to think if there's any more admin to do at that point. I don't think so. No, don't think so. So, recycling. There is a battery here and there is an engine here. We cannot swap them because they're, they're both, both in recycling. So nothing happens. Right. They go. They go. Off we go for the next round. Sandra is going first. Sandra is going to go to assembly. Where are we going to go? Um, well, we've got one design. We've got a bunch of parts. So we don't need to go to logistics particularly. We need to get rid of these parts. <laughs> yeah. We really do. Well yeah i say we can push some cars out but we're going to hit the same problem as as mr Turksy we can't has. yeah we can't we, use this chassis and recycling doesn't the need them we've got too many engines too many chassis and nobody yeah. wants them and and they're not there's one on here that we could upgrade and it is a gray car so it would be a tested design um, so, there's also we can take the black one from the central pile oh we could so we could do two more upgrades and both tested designs as well. And uh, the black one wouldn't be. Oh no, of course not, sorry. The grey one would be. But we could also take a red car while we're at it. Well, we don't need to do any more education there, so that's good. Should I we hit think, the, hit design then? I think, forget the red car, I think get another green one out if we can. Uh, well, there's, yeah, yeah. Because then if we get another green car, they, they are both then tested. How does that work on the meeting, on the end of day, on the end of week scoring? So at the end of week scoring, we get uh, one. every car you have in your garage scores one point for each upgrade it has and an yep. extra point for each of the upgrades that you did. And do they, they double up? if you? And they double up. It's cars. for each car. Oh yeah, well that's good then. So I think if we can get another green car in our garage, that's going to help us for that and for the demand and it's going to help us for the end of week scoring. So I think Bluff is saying go for the grey design with the with the yeah. blue part. With oh, the blue part. The grey design with the, the blue part. Fits the meeting goal. Well it does. That's true, but we don't have any of those parts. So I think I think design, if you're happy with design. Yeah. And then we'll we'll see what we get to when we get there. Right, where is Mr. Kurtzy going? He's taking the bottom card and he's going to admin. And Mr. Lacerda is taking the top card and he's going to design. But can't go to design, so it goes to admin. Can't go to admin because it was already in admin. So he goes up to the top. Right, 
work phase. So, what does Mr. Lacerda do in the R&D department? He first of all trains. Trains. Okay. Then he upgrades a design from the colleague stack and he actually does it twice. This could cost us some points. This is going to cost us some points, yes. Uh, and then he, he would take a car, but there's no car. So he upgrades this, which is the autopilot in the red car, and he takes the point space if possible. So that's that done. Autopilot moves to there, scores three points. One, two, three. Remember, the uh, Mr. Turtsy or Mr. Lacerda does not score the points for this or for this, but they do score that. And then the second one is upgrading the electronics in the concept car. Oh dear. Goes on the book, which moves that to there, which is another three points. One, two, three. Okay, so he's done two upgrades, doesn't claim a car. I think that's it. We did the training as well. Sandra, Sandra evaluates all of us, but we lose a point. Because we don't have three cars, we only have two cars, so we get evaluated, we get penalised, but because we're on five shifts, we only lose one point. Yeah. And then... Sandra clears these, which is good <laughs> because now we can start building cars. I think nearly everything has got a, an upgrade now. Oh no, grey and blue. Oh, that's uh, blue and grey don't. So we could push a blue car out, but we, we want the green cars out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, next is us. So what are we going to take? We're going to take the grey one that needs the chassis, I think. Just because we've got all the chassis parts. Because we, because then we can upgrade it, and it'll be it'll be another tested design. And you wanted a green, so we could take another green, an actual green car. Although I there's, think there's we want a green, the green, so that we can take another green car. Yeah, uh, I don't know which one. Let's take this one. Yeah, because this one's got an engine on it. In case we do that, and I think if we take this one. Because that's another chassis. Yep. Well, we can then go yeah. crazy with upgrades. And we can shift those parts. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, we can do a double upgrade. At some point in the game, we can do our double super upgrade. Yeah. For the, and we get the points for that, don't we? There we go. So that goes on there. That is our three shifts spent. We don't get any bonuses for that because we took we didn't take new ones. They slide down. That is us done. Mr. Turtsy is in administration, so he trains once, and then he trains once where Sandra is, which is here. So Mr. Turtsy is almost at the top of the track. Uh, and that is it done. End of the day. Is there any recycling? There might be. Yes, autopilot for chassis. Well, that is good for us as well, because yep. it gets the chassis out of recycling. Yeah. So that goes, these go, these go, and it is next round. So we get two more cards. Remember, the reshuffle card could come out at any time. And now we have Mr. Lacerda. Where's Mr. Lacerda going? Choosing the bottom card, which is that one, which is admin. The real and Mr. Does... Lacerda is doubting our, uh, our credentials in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this deck is empty, so we have to reshuffle this. Sandra is going logistics. Where are we going to go? Are we going to assembly and put out some cars? I think we should. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we go to assembly. We go to the plus three spot. Yeah, let's get some cars out. Maybe get a blue car out as well. Okay, and finally, Mr. Turtsy is taking the bottom card and is going to also to assembly. assembly as well. Ooh, right. Okay, so it is Mr. Turtsy first. He trains, he reaches the top of the training track, scores three points, which means we lose three points. 
If another player reaches the top of the train track, the speech token goes and they get an extra point, but the award tile stays. That award tile is only for us when we get to the top. Let's put that there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the plants, by the way, are an homage to the original uh, game board that had potted plants all over it. So hopefully you can still see things there. In fact, let's swap that one for that one so it's a bit less... Someone was asking if there are a stretch goal in the Kickstarter. There, <laughs> there should be a stretch goal, yes. Right, uh, is that... That's the training done. Oh, I'll tell you what we didn't do. We didn't move Mr. Tertzi up on this track. It actually didn't matter, but we did forget to do it. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Tertzi is now certified once. Right, and then we have provision of parts. So Mr. Tertzi is going to provide an engine because of this card. Where is Sandra? Sandra is in logistics, so it's the green car. Can the green car have an engine? No, it can't. So we go to the truck. Can the truck have an engine? Yes, yes it can. Okay. So this comes along, pushes this one out. This one goes to here. Now, where does this one go? Mr. Tertzi wants to go left. So that goes to there. That goes to there. Tertzi scores. Where's our points gone, Andy? <laughs> We were doing really well. We're now on seven. Are we missing uh, a, a certification for Mr. Lacerda as well? One, two, three, four. You should be on the fourth. Oops. Okay. Where did all our points go? I don't know. Yeah. We were doing all right. Uh, but I think that is it. Yeah, that is it for Mr. Tertzi. He's pushed a red car onto the track. No did he good take the points? All. Yes, he did. No good for us at all. Right, now it's us. So, what what are we doing? You wanted, uh, we wanted to try and get a green out, but that's quite a stretch. It is. That's... But I think if we put... Can we do three? We can. We can do this. We've got... Here's what I think we should do. Swap engine in recycling for an... Oh, no, hang on a minute. We can't put the green out because of this. But we have the parts vouchers. We've got, we've got parts vouchers. So we can swap the chassis for a battery. Yep. We can put the battery on the green car because the, that's what's needed first. That pushes to there, that pushes to there, that pushes to there. That pushes out. We get two points. Okay. And then, and the speed. Oh no, that's a grey. Sorry, I was, I was looking at the comments. Yep, carry on. <laughs> then we put the chassis on the blue car. Yep. And we get a blue car, and that pushes that one to there, that one to there, that one to there, that one to there. Blue car goes out onto the track, gets us another two points, and gets us a speech token because there's a demand for blue cars. Okay. And then use a voucher to get the green one. Or put a chassis on the grey truck. Truck. I can't see. Oh yeah. It's free, isn't it? Yeah. So chassis goes onto the grey truck. Which Am I right? That, you can there, only... that there, that there, yeah. that there, that there. That comes off, gets us another two points. You can only have four cars behind the pace car, but that's good. And there's a demand for green cars still. Another speech. So we get another speech token. That was pretty awesome, I think. Yeah, that was all right. <sighs> Taking a breather. <laughs> I think we're good. We spent our three shifts. We that's don't want to spend any bank shifts, do we? No, because we can't have any more cars out anyway. No. What happens if you get a fifth car? Doesn't the first car disappear or something? I think so. Yeah. But I don't think we want that. I think we're good. Right, what is Sandra doing? Sandra is evaluating logistics. And we're at the back. And we don't have any parts. So we lose a point. It's fine. And we didn't Sandra wanna... doesn't do anything in logistics. Because there's only one there and there's one there. Right. And then... Actually, 
Because um, Sebastian says if we push another car out, we'll get rid of the red one. We don't have a design for it. We don't, but I, I'm, I'm thinking keep the bank shifts. Oh, ah, no, yeah, because it's more expensive to take cars that are further yeah. behind. We get the grey one cheaper next time then. And we get two points for pushing out another car. Okay, we'll do it. Slight, slight rewind. We'll spend a bank shift. And a voucher. And a parts voucher to push out, what, a green car? We can do anything if we're using a parts voucher, can't we? Yeah. So that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there. That comes out. We get another speech token. Oh. <laughs> which we can't actually have because that is still padlocked. So we actually get it there. Yeah, you keep it as a... Uh, and you're right, I don't think this has ever happened in a game that I've played, is a fifth car gets added. So yeah, that one gets removed. These all bunch up. And then that goes there. And nobody wanted that one, so it just crashes and burns. Uh, did we get our two points for it coming off? I don't think we did. I took the speech out, but I didn't take no. the two points. And what about right. uh, training on there? Well, we've got, we've got a book, I believe. We have a book. Uh, is it worth it? Don't think it's worth it. It's two points if she... Although she's not going there for a long time, so... No. Okay. No. I think we're okay. So then Sandra did this, and that's that. And then Lacerda is training once in administration and twice in logistics. So one, two, getting him two points and moving him up to there. So he's now got five certifications which means this speech token gets removed? I guess. Oh. I think so. I'm not Let's sure on that, that one. Let's just check that. Factory goals. Because um, they don't qualify for the other ones ever, do they? Or do they? Uh, they do not use performance goals. They do not use Kanban order cards. Uh, I'm just checking the chat. But no. Ah, the colleagues never achieve factory goals. It does say that in there. Okay. So that's that done. Lacerda has gone there, so he will always go first in a meeting now. The chat that, is all about the black car. Yeah. <laughs> that is the end of that day. Recycling. Engine for chassis. No. No recycling happens. Okay. Get rid of those cards. Get rid of those cards. Let's draw two new ones. The reshuffle card has come out. So you put that, I believe, on top and you carry on. There we go. So they are the cards. And it is Mr. Turtsy to decide first. He takes the bottom card and goes to logistics. But he can't go to logistics because Sandra's there. So he goes to design. Right, where are we going to go? Surely the plan now is to go to Surely. R&D. Surely. Plus three uh, spot. Hang on, there's no chance. No, nope, we're safe from Mr. Lacerda nope. coming in there. So no, we're not. Um, oh, no, we are because we've chosen the bottom spot. Yeah, we're going to three. Yeah. And he always chooses the bottom spot. Nice. Okay, so let's see where he's going. Uh, no, in fact, Sandra's next. Sandra goes to design. And then Mr. Lacerda. He's taking the top card and he's going to logistics. Right. I just need a drink because this is thirsty work. Right, what we're going to do with our three shift, Andy? Oh, let's get some cars. It, it's the grey one, definitely. We've only got one part. If we want to do an upgrade, we've only got one part now. Uh -huh. But... So we can take, we take the grey car. Oh no, no, we might not want to take the grey car. We, we might want to do the grey upgrade. Do we want to aim for three different cars for the meeting goal, for the performance goal? Three different cars. Yeah, I think so. Because that's nine points if we can hit that. Yeah. Sebastian saying the grey and the blue car. Well, yeah, the reason I'm thinking not the 
not the gray is that if we upgrade the gray it's a tested design it's a it's a tested design for sure um yeah because if we take the gray and the blue we've got three different colors so that's that done <clears throat> but i was thinking the gray and the green that leaves us one shift for a design no oh yeah we'd have to use a, a bank shift for an upgrade yeah and then we could upgrade we can't take Brett, we can't take the green and blue because that'd be four shifts for the two of them. It would. And there's only four shifts in a day, even with bank shifts. Yeah. There's a lot well, of options here. Yeah, the blue gives us three cars for the meeting. Yeah, and the meeting... It will be in two turns time, probably. Um, if we take two cars... Mm. Yeah, Sandra's coming round. Oh, we lost the chat. Oh, hopefully the chat will come back. Oh, this we did is this uh, earlier on. Vital saying green and blue with no with no upgrade then. Uh, chat's gone again. Not sure what keeps happening with this. Again, the broadcasting software is having issues. It's been having issues for the last week or two. Hmm. So yeah, the chat is telling us different things. It's up to us. <laughs> Vitaly is saying take the green and the blue. Sebastian is saying uh, take the grey and the blue and upgrade the green. I'm not sure. The grey and the blue or the green and the blue. The green gives us a double up on the meeting points. Um, on, the end, on the end of week. On the end of week points, yeah. The green will give you four more points in the next round. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't know. Hmm. If we take the green and the blue, that is our four shifts. That, that's it. Yeah. No, no, we, we no can't design, do an upgrade. No upgrades. Hmm. I quite like the idea of doing an upgrade. Okay. Although you were saying earlier, cars in garages. Yeah, I'm still. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Take the grey and the blue. Take the grey and the blue, and do the green. Do a green upgrade. Do a green upgrade. And then we'll get a, we'll get another green car in future. Maybe we could do the sat nav on the green car with the parts voucher and with double upgrade yeah and whack a load of points yeah well no the the upgrade on the green car is the engine oh yeah of course yeah um, i always forget that yeah so not worth doing the double upgrade on that one no right so yeah the chat's telling us lots of different things i think we're gonna i think we're gonna go with gray and blue you happy with that andy yeah, sure. Right, so there's the three shifts then. That requires that one and that one. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't have to do the upgrade. We could just spend three shifts on that. No, I think we either, we'll either get the green and the blue car or we do an upgrade. Okay. I'm in, so I, well, I'm in favour. We'll spend one bank shift and a parts voucher to upgrade the engine of the green car and take a bank shift yeah get that shift back that's another upgrade so we've got triple up triple tested designs uh okay right where do we want to put these cars in our garages i don't think we want a speech token although <laughs> we, we you do get to keep them as ious they don't get do. wasted yeah that's true um if we've got a whole load of books we can go and get certified in admin yeah yeah that sounds good so what two books for this and then a speech token and a book for that do we need another speech token uh well as you say we, we could do with some for the end of the game because these speech tokens here are going to disappear soon oh we've also got this speech token yeah we've well, got that now. one as well yeah we got that one so that's two, right? 
Oh yeah, we get two points for the upgrade. Thank you. Uh, there's our points. Two points and, for the upgrade. And move the token. And up. we move the engine up to there. Okay. Um. So it's it's so this. Is it two different ones there? From it's that? two different ones. Yeah. Oh okay. We do need some more bank shifts. Yeah. So uh, well, I think we need seven. We want seven. By yeah, the I think one well. bank shift and. Um, and a speech token, or is that too many? No, I think that's too many. I say books. Okay, we'll have another book. Run out of books. Where's my books? There's the books. <laughs> right. Okay. That's four now. That's four books. Yes. That's there good because go. you can you can use as many books as you want in one exactly. day, can't you? So yeah, yeah, yeah. We can just we can just read books in admin and do something else somewhere else. Yeah. Right. And so that was a pretty awesome turn. This moves two spaces. Please go on there. Uh, and that is all done. Right. Mr. Lacerda uh, is down in logistics. And what does he do in logistics? Well, first of all, he first gets to the trains. end of the track, which removes the speech token, and we lose a point. And another uh, three. Oh, yeah, and three because he's got to the end of the track. One, two, three. Uh, and then, because he's certified, he basically plays a Kanban card. No, that's not a Kanban card. That's a Kanban card. <laughs> So the two with the chassis go at the bottom, and then based on where Sandra is, Sandra is in the bottom too, so it goes like that. Yeah. Right, okay. So we need two chassis on there, a drivetrain on there, and then an autopilot on there. Okay? So that's the Kanban card done. And then what he does is he takes two lots of parts. So the first part that he tries to take is based on this selection card here, which is that one. And then the second one Where would, be this, card for? would yeah. be this one. And there's none of that. So then we draw another card and he wants to take the batteries. He takes that one. Okay. These parts, by the way, are just worth points to him at the end of the game, I believe. Are they limited to six between They them? are limited Sorry. to six maximum, yes. So I think... That is Mr. Lacerda done in logistics. Now we have Mr. Turtsy in design. Uh, now, what does design do? He trains first. Is that the first time he's two, been? Oh, yes, he trains first. Then he takes two tiles based on where Sandra is. Sandra is in design, so it's these two. So those go to the bottom of the stack. And that's it. These slide down. That's it. Right. Sandra evaluates. We're okay. We're safe. And then Sandra gets rid of these four because it is a three player game. Uh, these all slide down. Now, what happens when one of these stacks is empty? You leave it empty? Yes, I think so. It? This is all detailed in the standard rules. Yeah. Um, can't quite remember that bit. I don't know whether you take one off the top. Let's just check very carefully, very quickly. This is this is under the rules for the design department. Here we go. Um, Refill any empty spaces with tiles from the first office stack to the left. If the first office stack is depleted, refill empty spaces with designs from the central stack. If both are depleted, fill the top row first. So yeah, I think that stays empty. And you just now refill from here. I know Patel saying put it, put the top tile there. Oh, okay. If that's what he's saying, we'll put that one in there. Right, so that was Sandra. That is the end of that day. We check the recycling card. We have engine and battery. Yes, we swap engine, uh, battery in, engine out. Okay. Done. Uh, these cards disappear. These cards disappear. Two new cards. We are getting close to our second end of week and second meeting. Um, right, so it's us first. Things are looking pretty good. Where do we want to go? Admin? 
Yeah, we were going to train up in admin, weren't we? So we can think, let's, let's do the admin thing. Although we could do with some parts as well. Oh, well, we point. can get them because when you're in admin, you can oh, of course you can, micromanage yes. any other department. Absolutely. Right, uh, Mr. Lacerda is choosing the top card and is going to R and D. Whereas Mr. Tertzi is choosing the bottom card and is also going to R and D. <laughs> So that might Two be a meeting. Yeah, both I meetings. Think it, I think it's going to be a meeting and then Sandra moves to admin and we're going to have an end of week. So we're going to have both a meeting and an end of week all at the same time. Right. How exciting. So first of all, uh, Mr. Turtsy trains once and then upgrades the design from the colleague shared design stack, which is this one. So that is the electronics of the truck covering up that space. Flipping that over, moving the electronics to here and scoring four points. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, then he, then he uh, takes the car with the highest value. So it's concept cars first, then red, then grey, then blue, then green. So he takes that one. And that goes here. Um, and then the pace car advances. And done. Right. Mr. Lacerda trains twice. Gets to the top, gets four points. Uh oh, <laughs> we're down to two points. Um, and then upgrades the design, which is this one. So upgrades the chassis of the red car. That goes on there, which is another two points. Right, we're now on zero. <laughs> we're going to have to do well in this meeting. We are going to have to do very, very well in this meeting. Do we? Is it at the end of the round? It's at the end of either a meeting or an end of week. Yes, dramatic music. <laughs> so do we do we do we do the end of week and stay if we're on zero? I think so. I and think then so. If and we then survive Lacerda that, we do the, the big meeting and see if we're on zero. Yeah, Lacerda gets the green car. Uh, did he get the VP for the blue car? Do they get do they get the VP do for they the get cars? R and D. I hope not. I think that's end of game, isn't it? Um, claim cars. Yeah, you just claim the car. You don't get any points for claiming the car. Uh, but this does move to here, which triggers another meeting. Um, oh, in fact, Lacerda was certified. So he should have done another design. Ooh, this is very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. That goes so that, there. That's that goes another there. three. That grazes the engine for another three. So we're on minus three points. Wow. So We've that got... was three upgrades and two cars claimed from the track. Yeah. Wow. We've got some points coming, though. We have some points coming. Right, it's our go. Oh, the we... says we do end up the whole round even yeah. below zero. Yeah. So. Right, so we've got two shifts in admin. Are we going to spend our four books? <clears throat> we get um, two, three, four books and one shift. One shift, and then we get three points for that, which at least yeah. puts us on zero. Three points, and we get another speech token, and, and we get secret tires. Two points, so it's actually three. five. We're back in the positive. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> right, we have one shift left, which we can do anywhere we can do in any of the other departments <laughs> we did say we were going to get some parts but is there anything we can do to get more points somehow instead uh no did we, did we become certified then oh we've just become certified yes so do we want two more points yeah i would say so <laughs> two points and another speech token <laughs> i've never had so many speech tokens right Matt saying is minus three a bad score. No, 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 no don't worry about minus three. It counts as 97. <laughs> don't worry. It's all fine. What do we want to do with our one shift? Do we want to take another design to get another back shift? I just desperately oh. trying to see if we can squeeze any more points out. Have we got any parts at all? Nothing. We, we have no parts vouchers. We have no parts. Um, we, we could go in. 
No, we've only got one shift. Ah. Yeah. We could spend a bank shift. We could play a Kanban card. Which would get us another bank shift back. Yeah, and then take some parts. We can only go into one department, one other department. Exactly, right? but we could okay. go to logistics and spend two shifts in logistics. Design says Vital and Afloploof. Mm. Designs. Grey designs. Yeah, grey designs so that we upgrade them. What do you think? Oh. This is very tricky. We need the part as well as oh, the design. Oh, oh. we're about to what? have a meeting. We are. Both types of meetings. We've got this. And Sebastian's saying train on logistics, which will give us five points. Uh, it won't give us five. Uh, so logistics is here. Lacerda's already at the top. So training on logistics won't actually get us no. very much. Oh, no, it will. It'll get us five points because we moved to there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you... Yep, yeah, good spot. And it gets us another space token. <laughs> <laughs> it's a way of getting points. And I it, think... is a, it, it is our best way of getting points. Should we do that, then? Yeah. So we've, sp we've got... One shift left, we're going to spend a bank shift, so we've got two shifts. We're going to use those two shifts to work in logistics, and we're just going to train. One, two, we're now certified, we move to there, we get five points. We have five certifications, we have done that factory goal. Have you ever seen as many speech tokens as this? Whew. Right, are we ready? Yep. Sandra does her end of week scoring. So we score points for end of week and then we do the meeting. So for each car in your garage, see, we're going to get a bucket load of points here. Yeah, this is the bit I always have to look up every time yeah. I score this. So it's for each car in your garage, you get one point for each piece on here, plus one for every design you have. So basically each green car in our garage gets us six points. It would get anybody else three points. Yep. So we got six points for the green car, which is pretty awesome. The grey car has been only upgraded once, and we don't have any designs for that, so we get one. Uh, the blue car hasn't been upgraded at all, and we have no upgraded designs, so none for that. And we got another grey car, which was another one. Okay. Uh, yeah. The other players don't score any points for cars in their garage at the end of the week, but they do score for their upgraded designs, which is ten points. Oh dear. Are we still... We are still positive. We're still on okay. seven. And we haven't had the meeting yet. We've had um, okay. the padlock on the parts bin on our player board. We've unlocked that. Oh, which means we can have that. Right. And the so, logistics one as well. Oh, yeah. I forgot about them. <laughs> right. That is Sandra's done. Yeah. We've done we the end of week scoring. Did we double the points for the grey car? Did we score the grey cars twice? I did. Yeah, it was okay. only one. Oh, okay, yeah. But we doubled it. Right, we now do the meeting. So again, it is meeting two. So Lacerda gets two speech tokens. And meeting three... Uh, sorry, and Tertzi gets three tokens. We've got five. It is Lacerda first. Lacerda goes here and scores four points. One, two, three, four. Right, now, where are we going to put ours? I think we've got to grab this one before Turtsy does. That, that's our most points, right? Yeah. yeah. So nine, boom, points. nine points. Back up to 12. Right. Turtsy comes along and goes for this one and scores four. One, does he go? Does he go there or does he go on the two multiplier underneath us? I can't remember. Oh, um, yeah, he might be right. Skipping cards that are full. Yeah, you're right. So he goes on there and he gets three points instead of four. So there we go. Even better. Lacerda comes along and goes there and scores six points. Because he always gets the maximum, is that right? Yeah. Yep. Six points, we're down to three. But then we come along. What have we got here? Oh, 
<laughs> we've got four points on the on the engine one. What have we got yeah. in our hand? Yeah, we've not oh. done very well on this. No. <laughs> four points on the green car, four points on the engine. It's going to have to be this before somebody else grabs it. Two points on designs, so yeah, okay. Yeah, so four points for that. One, two, three, four. Uh, Thirty comes along and goes there. Let's go four. four. Oh, this is close. We've only just survived, I think. I think we play our green car one. Hang on, we've got... If we play on that times two multiplier on the next card along, then we knock... We'll get nothing, but Mr. Tuxi will only get two. He's only going to get two anyway. Oh, of course he is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, it doesn't matter then. Uh, the green car then? Yeah, so we play our own one, and we get four points. One, two, three, four. And then Turtsy plays on there and gets two. We only just got through the meeting. But that is the end of the second meeting. So we have had two meetings, two end of weeks, whenever the next one of those two things happens. Or both. Or both. That is the end of the game. Right. So uh, these come off, but then we give in three of those. So we've got five speech tokens. Now I'm quite confident about our end of game scoring. We do need some more books though. And bank shifts. And, and some bank shifts. But What's the last one? Is that certification? Two, uh, two things at the top of the track. Oh, we're there, right, yep. Uh, and we are on, yeah, we've got that one. We've yeah. got that one sewn up. Right, what are we, which two of these cards are we gonna play into the meeting? Because <laughs> we, we've not got any of these. But this one's an easy one to do. Well, yeah, I mean, when we see the end coming, we can go to design and grab a handful of designs. Yeah, and going to design is going to get us some books. And we need three books. How do we get extra books? Hmm. Upgrading. Upgrades, yeah, and also potentially on the top of the training tracks yeah got these awards we don't three. know i don't i can't remember what the distribution on those is no we can't guarantee that though no nope. so i think that one and i think this one because that's i think the easiest one for us to actually score some points on. and these are low Maybe numbers can't. which sure. means the other players are going to are going to score fewer points on those We've only got one empty garage as well now, so even if we grab a red car, we can only get one. Yeah. Okay, two new ones. Three for us. Okay, let's give these a shuffle. Oh, they're good. Yeah, well, that's that's eight points for us. One of them, yeah. Yeah, wow. and that's six. So, yeah, we, we've got an eight-point card in hand, which is good. Right, the four shared goals are uh, batteries or electronics, certified in R&D, certified in logistics, and designs on your board. Right, okay. The trouble with those certified spaces is there's only one, yeah. one gap on them, isn't there? Yeah. But... And Lacerda's going to have three speech tokens in the next meeting. Yes. We actually, I think, I think based on the meeting, I think I'd prefer to have an end of week before we have another end, uh, before we have another meeting. How many points did we get for that end of week? It was well, six. We seven, got eight. We got six, seven, eight. We got eight, but the other two are not going to get any. No, because they've not got any upgraded. Let's see how it goes. So we want to watch for ways to push Sandra into the next. Yes, department, I think so. If right, we can recycling. Yes. Start Electronics in. Sandra around. Battery out. Done. Yeah, the tension is quite Yeah, that was that was close that. We we almost <laughs> we almost ended that early. It would right. be a shame to not to not get to the it last It would be round, a shame not it? to get to the end, but yeah. Okay. So we've drawn the two cars. That cards it is Mr. Lacerda, uh, sorry, Mr. Turtsy first. 
who is choosing the bottom card and is going to assembly. So Mr. Turtsy goes to assembly. It's going to push some cars out. Next is Mr. Lacerda. Lacerda is choosing the top card and is going to design. Right, where do we want to go? Well, Sandra's going to go to R&D, whatever we do. We can't speed her up there anyway. No. Are we... Oh, we're safe. That's cars in garages, right? So we're safe on... Yeah, we, we don't need... No, no, no. Um, it's upgraded designs. Oh, is it? We're safe. Oh, we're safe anyway. But okay. R&D for us is no use unless we want to train, which I don't think he's going to get us very much. Because we've only got one design. We don't have a parts voucher. So I think R&D for us is out. But there are end-of-game points for being for positions on the oh, end. Oh, that's true. But that, that is true. But I think we want to go somewhere. I, I think we maybe get parts. that elsewhere, yeah. We're not going to I, do much without parts at this point, are we? Yeah, I, th I think either logistics or design. Design is kind of the good spot's been taken. And that'll get us bank shifts if we go to logis um, yeah, oh, logistics. Yeah, logistics as well. Yes. Yeah. And, and the chat concurs. There you go. And Sandra goes here. Okay, so Sandra first. Um, evaluation is skipped. Pace car moves one. That's Sandra done. Next is Mr. Turtsy. So what does he do in assembly? Is He's any spaces trained. that are full are cleared. And he then provides this part, so the autopilot. And it is being provided to the concept car. Can the concept car have an autopilot? Yes, yep. it can. So finally, we have our first black car that has been built. Now, Turtsy wants to push to the left, so that goes to there. There we go. That is that. Done. Oh, and I forgot to train him. He's already at the top. He's already at the top. Right, so that is Turtsy done. Next is us. So, Kanban card. Definitely. Now, now do we want one? to fill up on autopilot sat-navs? Because that's a possibility now. Uh, this is batteries and electronics. Oh yeah. So if we put that, oh those, yeah, here. We can also take one um, voucher as well because we're trained now. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Right. So you're happy with that as a placement? Yeah, I think that makes most sense. Okay, so that costs us one of our three shifts. We get a bank shift. We put an electronics on there. We put a chassis on there. We put a drivetrain on there. And we put two batteries on there. That's our first shift. Our second shift is to take a parts voucher. Sorry, I'm replying on there. Um, or do we want a train? Do we need a parts voucher? I don't think. Are we going back up for an upgrade? And to use our double jump for a bunch of points, we get the. If you jump, say that the electronics up to six, we get six points. We get six we? points. Yeah. Yeah. If so we can I upgrade think... the electronics in something, which we can. Although we haven't got the design for that. No, but we're going to be going to design at some point. Uh, have we got enough turns? Oh, yes, I think we do. <laughs> okay. So I think take the two batteries. So that's our second shift. And then the third shift. I tell you what, we could take these and swap one of these for an electronics. Oh, that's good. So we take these two and then we recycle one of them for an electronics. There you go. Okay. So our bank shift is now five. If we can get two more bank shifts, we qualify for this end of game thing here. Right. Right. So okay. we definitely want to hit design at some point and pick up as many designs as we can. Yes. Just to get the bonuses. Yeah. We go there, spend four shifts and get, get all of these bonuses. Right. That is us done. Mr. Lacerda, uh, what is he doing? Well, he trains in here, so he reaches the top, which is ahead of us, which is a shame. 
Um, and then what's he going to take? It takes the designs. Where is Sandra? <coughs> Sandra in R&D. So it's actually these two. Yeah. So these two designs get taken. Go to the bottom of the stack. Um, and then what else does he do in design? Takes an additional tile from the central stack, which unfortunately has an X on it. So that's two points. One, two. And then we slide down. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, done that. We've done that. We've done that. That Ta is Mr. Lacerda done. No recycling. Yeah, you can recycle at any point in your turn after yes. the proof. Except during the meeting, yes. And you can recycle as many times as you want. Can you? I thought it was once per nope. turn. No, as many times as you want. So if we really wanted to, we could put a battery in now and take the chassis out. Oh yeah, it does say as if many times as to, you want. But I'm thinking keeping the batteries because of this. Yep. So I've drawn the cards. We are Sandra Ing. Sandra goes to here. It is then Mr. Turtsy. Mr. Turtsy is choosing the bottom card and going to admin. And then it's us. Right. So now, unfortunately, Mr. Lacerda is still sat in design. So we can only take the two. We could only take the two. And spending two bank shifts to get two bank shifts. Yeah, Feels. we need to get to seven. Yeah. Is there something think, else we can do I instead? I don't think we're going to get the three books. We're going to have to choose. How many points is that on the books? Is that six or eight? It's I six. Think. Oh, eight. sorry, no, it's eight. eight. It is eight. It's going to be easier to get bank shifts than it three is. books at this I, point. I think we're going to have to go into design and just take those two. And then if we upgrade the electronics in one of them, it's six points. In fact, it's yeah, nine sure. points if we upgrade the electronics in blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, it's more. It's 11 points because we'll get two for the design. And then if we can force an end of week, it'll be an extra two points. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge move. If we upgrade the electronics of the, of the SUV. Oh, Sebastian saying admin. No, I think I'm happy with design. I mean, it doesn't matter because if we went to admin, we'd probably spend two shifts in, in design. design. So I don't. The advantage of us going here now is that we can. Whereas next turn, these two might be blocked. No, they won't be. But if they were, we could then go to admin. I mean, you go to admin. Hang on. Do we, in the, if we do that, then Mr. Turksy is definitely going to go to R and D. Do we want that? If we go to admin. Mr. Tuxi might go to design. Oh, because of this? Yeah. Look, he's either going to take the top one and go to admin where he already is, so he'll go to R&D, or he'll take the bottom one, fail to get into... Oh, he's already placed. No, don't worry about it. Forget it. It's Lacerda that hasn't <laughs> yes, placed. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So Lacerda is probably going to go... Well, he's definitely going to go to admin. Yes, he is, isn't he? So I think we're happy with that. Because we don't we'll want do Lacerda to go to R&D because then he'll do, he'll do two more upgrades. Yeah. And all he'll do then is just train in, train in assembly and although he's going to get... No, no, that's good. Yeah, I think you're right. No, hang on a minute. Just following on from what you're saying. Lacerda is, if we do this, Lacerda is going to go to admin. And you're right, Lacerda is then going to get to the top of admin and going to get to the top of there. But he doesn't get points for that now. But he does, does at he? the end of the game. Yeah. Whereas if he goes to R&D, yes, he's going to get the points for doing the upgrade, but that's actually going to give us points as well because he's going to upgrade the, the truck. And he's not going to advance any further. He's not going to train any further in R&D. He's going to do two upgrades, though. Can we? Are we allowed to look what's under that? No, track? I don't think we are. Because <laughs> if it's a blue one, then that's some of your blue points stolen. Design says, oh, Sebastian's changed his mind back to design. 
or is he saying go to admin and then choose to <laughs> choose to micromanage your design? I, I think it's all about manipulating where they go. It's only a it's a four point swing if he goes if he does this training from admin. It's only a four point swing, I think. Whereas if he goes to design, I think it could be much more than four point swing. Oh, because he's going to upgrade those. It yeah. isn't. To, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Although so. it's only it's only drivetrain for the first one, so that's only two points. But it's only two points. But the, the next one could be electronics, and then it could be five points. I think this is this is the yeah. one we know, and we know. Yeah. What We're going to go with this, right? And Lacerda is choosing the top card, and is going to admin. So they're both going to admin. Right. It is Sandra first. Sandra clears all of these, and then she evaluates us but we have four cars in our garage so we're safe yeah okay i love this how you can see where they're going to go to yeah this is part of Dutch's, just way that um, solo designs is that yeah it's, it's semi-predictable so you can plan for it okay it is now us we have two shifts to spend are we just taking these two yeah we need those bank shifts right we need the bank shifts so that's... then we need to not play them <laughs> yeah we need to not use the bank shifts so those slide down. That one goes in there, that one goes in there. Okay, right. That's us done. Next is Mr. Tertsey in admin. So he trains once and then he trains once where Sandra is done. Then Mr. Lacerda trains once and then trains twice where Sandra is done. Easy. Recycling, no. Yeah, the game is reaching a nice tense crescendo. Um, right, two new cards. We have that. We have the shuffle card. So these all get shuffled. Is, is Fred here with the that. jokes again? Yes, he is. Very good, Fred. I have been seeing your jokes. They've been, they've been good. Right. Okay, so they are the cards. Design, assembly, R&D. Sandra goes first and goes here. And then we go. So, R&D? Upgrades? Yeah. yeah. Now, are we going to go on the plus two? Um, because right, otherwise one of them might next. get there first. But is that going to matter? No, I don't think that will matter. Well, Mr. Turks is only going to do one design if he does, and it's going to be the drivetrain on the on the truck. Yeah. And if we're in the three, then Mr. Lacerda is not going to go there. I'd say the three. OK. Right. So Mr. Turksy, top card, design. Mr. Lacerda. Bottom card, R and D. Can't be R and D. Goes to there instead. Yeah. Right. Nice. So it's us. We've got three shifts to spend. How many upgrades do we want to do? We want to do the upgrade on the blue car, don't we? we want to upgrade the electronics on the of the SUV with the double jump. So we're going to use our double jump. That has been done. Uh, we put that on there, so that's three points. Plus six is nine. Yep. Plus two for the tile, which is 11. So 11 yeah. points. Boom. Right. And that's a tested design as well. So, so that's our first shift. Is saying two trains now, and I can see that because it puts us top of that stack and yeah. it gets us the tile. Yeah, I think so. Two trains puts us to the top, gets us the tile, which is a book. It's a point. And potentially more points if we go back to design and take two more of those. Okay. Yeah, black and red upgrades are not that appealing. No. No, we don't have either of those cars. That's so. the right decision, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lacerda, train twice, can't. Uh, what does he then do? He selects a part. Oh, yeah, so he's trying to build a chassis. On on green the green car which it can't have so it goes to the truck can't be the truck goes to the sports car can be the sports car 
And if given a choice, he pushes into the middle. So that comes out, that comes out, that comes out. Two points, no demand. So we have a truck. Uh, and I think he does it twice because he's certified. Yeah. Uh, yeah, provides additional parts. So it's a chassis again. Um, and it will be... No, he can't. Can't be black. What about? No, not blue. No, no that's it then. Nope. Can't be anything else. Oh, we we well. successfully manipulated that, so they couldn't do anything. Are you, uh, right. You're taking so, credit for that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Right. Cool. Sandra is evaluating logistics, but evaluating Mr. Turtsy, which doesn't do anything, and then she removes that. Done. Next, it is Mr. Turtsy in design, and he takes cards from here yep so those two go to the bottom no that one doesn't that's a a not upgradable design so that's two points one two that goes to the bottom of the stack these slide down where are we is that 12 points we've got uh we are on 10. yeah we're on 10 points now uh i think oh and he trains as well I think that's it. End of the day. Any recycling? Green for either electronics or drivetrain. Yep, we've got drivetrain out, battery in. Done. Right, okay. We're getting close to the end. We've got probably two rounds we left. Want, do we, can we grab that battery at some point before the meeting? Uh, yes, we can. For scoring. Yes, we definitely can. Okay, so two cards come out. It's our go. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go to design? Sebastian says design. I agree. We can get two more bank ships. Oh, we don't need the bank ships. No, but can we can get, get the two more books, books, which is eight points. Yeah. Yeah. So we go to design. Right. Mr. Lacerda choosing the bottom card and going to R&D. Oh, that's not good. Oh. That's the mammoth amount of points. Uh, well, the first one's the drivetrain, so that's only two points. Yeah. Well, okay. we were there, so we couldn't block him anyway. Yeah. Mr. Turtsy takes the top card and goes to uh, assembly, and then Sandra goes to here. Oh, she's slow this time. Okay. Yeah. Right, so uh, Mr. Lacerda is working in R&D. He is certified, so he provides two car parts. The first one, yeah, we've been okay. So it's the drivetrain into the truck. Now, what does he take? Does he take bank shifts over books? I think it is. Yes, bank shift over books. So that okay, goes there. Drivetrain goes to there. Two points. That's that. Then he provides the engine also to the truck which is another four points Ooh. yeah and then he takes that car that moves and then the test pace car, car moves yeah. one forward not that that matters that is Lacerda done Turtsy trains once but he's already at the top uh, provides the autopilot oh hang on Brett's saying Sandra should have moved to admin Oh, what did we get wrong? Hang on, I can... Are you going to scrub back on the video? Yeah. How far back was it? Uh, a few minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm right, getting we, all excited and I missed something. We went down to design. Hang on. We went down to design. Mm -hmm. And then Lacerda moved to R&D. And then Sandra should have moved down to admin. Yep. Andra should be an admin. This well, is the last round of the game then. Well spotted, Brett. Yeah, well spotted. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, getting all excited and missed that bit. That's, that's better for us, surely. It is absolutely better. This is the last round of the game. So, uh, Tootsie is providing an autopilot and he wants to provide it to the sports car. Sports car can have an autopilot. So it does. That pushes this out and... Turtsy wants to go straight to the left. So that basically comes out there. 
and scores one point. This is really interesting um, because the design, uh, the demand has not been fulfilled. In a multiplayer game, these demands get cycled round quite often. But yeah, I've been through the whole stack. Yeah, once. every game is is very different when you play it. Um, right, that is it for Tootsie. So it's us. Are we just going to grab our books? Well, yes. <laughs> and another Take, shift. Um, yeah, as long matter, as, yes, it? yes, no, right, yeah. and yeah. swap the battery out of. Yeah, a shift, thingy. two books, put the drive train in, take a battery out. Now we can spend a bank shift down to seven and get... Oh, there's nothing to get, is there? There's nothing to get. No, we're trained. We're all done. So, first of all, we have an end of week scoring and then we'll do final scoring. There isn't a meeting at the end of the game, which is... I don't know, it might have been good for us. Yeah, so we did that and we didn't need to because oh, there yeah, isn't going talking, to be a meeting. Yeah, of course. Oh, well. Yeah, but I think I think if there'd have been a meeting, I think we might have been all right because I we've got we we've okay got this, then. we've got we've got all of these. Yeah, I think we'd have been okay if there was a meeting. Anyway, end of week scoring. This green car here is worth one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just do them one at a time. <laughs> six. The grey cars, of which we have two are worth three each so that's another six the blue car is worth one two so that's two end of week scoring for those those players is four one two three four that is the end of week scoring done we then go to final scoring now how does final final scoring work in the game um first perform your own final scoring the same way in which you would, would a multiplayer game including spending leftover speech tokens or end game achievements, but with the following instead for step five, which is the department track. So we'll do, we'll just put our three speech tokens on here. Yep. Which gets us 21 points. There we go, that's a bit safer. Right, so in step five, okay, so we need to do all of the normal steps except for step five. So let's have a look at final scoring. Make sure we do these in order. Where is final scoring? It's End of the on, game. On the back of the book, isn't it? Ah, yes. There we go. Final scoring. So step one, spend a speech. Yes, yeah, so we've done that. That's step one. Step two, one point for each shift you have banked. Nice. That's going to get eight. Uh, step three, one point for each speech token, either your own or your generic ones. We've got four. One, two, three, four. Uh, step four, points for each of your cars and your garages. So that's uh, 8, 11, 13, 59. And then step five is different. Step five, instead of the training tracks, it is for each department's training track on which you are the furthest ahead, with ties broken in order of the markers from top to bottom, earned five points. We are furthest ahead on one of them. Yep. So we get five points. Then colleagues score points for the following. Right, five points per training track on which either of them is the furthest ahead. So that's the other four. <laughs> that's 20 points. Two points per design tile in their play areas, both upgraded and in their shared design stack. So one, two, three, four. That's eight. Uh, and six. Two to six points per car they kept based on the car's end of game value. So that's three, seven, nine, uh, 27. Uh, for each point they score, decrease your points as usual. If after your score is positive, you have won the game. We've won the game. We won the game. We won the game. Awesome. 27 points. Now let's look at our rank. Um, so yeah, we have these ranks here. Considering um, we weren't playing for one of these. So... In turn, we made it to the end of the game with one point or more, and we had two or more tested designs. Yes. Yeah. So we've definitely made in turn. Assistant supervisor, 15 points or more. Yes. Two or more tested designs. Yes. Two or more bank shifts. Yes. Two or more certifications. Yes. So we've made assistant supervisor. Did we make factory manager? We needed 30 points or more. We were on 27. Oh. Aflo Bluff is saying car parts. Did we score car parts? No, but get... car parts don't score. 
Oh, if we don't get a point for car no, parts. Okay. No, car parts don't score at the end of the game. Books oh, do. Well. Did I, fi I, I don't think I scored the books. No, I didn't score the books. And designs values. Okay, one, two, three for the books. Hang on, what have I, what have I missed? Six. We didn't. You you didn't do part five. I, no, I didn't. I didn't do the books, which I've I've just done. We did part four. Part five was for the training tracks. Yeah, which it says skip, but there's a part six in final scoring for your tested oh, there is. designs. For each of your tested designs, gain points equal to the value of the car part depicted. On. Yes, thank you. That's loads. I'd forgotten about that. <clears throat> so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen. Oh, boom. Right. OK, so let's carry on. <laughs> let's have a look back at here. Um, oh, and the bots score car parts as well. Oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Two to six points per car part they collected. Yeah, OK, so I was getting too excited and missed that. So this car part is worth two. Uh, oh, in fact, I, I counted that wrong. That should be another two. So two plus four is six. That's eight. It's 14. Oh. 16. Nice. Still 32. Still okay. above that 30 points. So apologies for that. I forgot two of those things at the end. Anyway, we are still... 30 points or more, yes. Three or more cars, yes. Yep. Tested designs that have a total value of 12 or more, yes. Five or more bank shifts, yes. Four or more certifications, yes. We did it, we got to factory manager. We did not get to CEO because that requires 50 points or more and we did not get to musketeer. So we Does did pretty good. Does that mean we take over from Sandra now? I think we take over from Sandra. So, yeah. Now, we did have the help of people in the chat. Yep. Uh, and we were playing the game on the easiest difficulty level. And both me and Andy are both awesome gamers. So, <laughs> take that. If you think the game's too easy, they are the factors. So, the, di the, the difficulty cards, you basically add these into here. And it gives the bots another way of scoring points. But there were a couple of times in the game where we were close to losing, wasn't there? Yeah, that second set of meetings. Second meeting. Was really close. Well, we were minus three at one point. Yeah, we were at minus three, but we, we did bring it back. Right. So um, this, is a, uh, this is part of my video series for the game. This is a sponsored video uh, from Eagle Griffin. As I mentioned at the start, I did the official how to play video for the game. Uh, which taught you all of the rules for the base game. And then this video is designed to complement that. So this video is how you play the solo game and obviously a playthrough. Because it's a sponsored video, I can't really give you my uh, opinion on the game, but Andy can. So off you go, Andy, on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. This is one of my favourites to solo. The um, uh, David's bot um, mechanism here is just brilliant. Um, and I can't wait to get it. It's, it's on yeah, you've got a right copy now. on the way to you, haven't you? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Now, I have said on previous solo streams that I'm, I'm not keen on solo bots where there's a lot of admin and looking up on tables. This was okay. Yeah, right? I think it, it feels admin-y at the start, doesn't it? But once yeah. you've done it three times... It, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, what's he doing? reveal the card takes the bottom one takes the bottom one is going there is going there done um it's a really nice method of of the department selection with you seeing the three plan cards ahead so you can kind of think oh well you know the first one's going to take the top or the bottom one yeah, and you then never... you know the second one's going to take the top or the bottom from what's left so you can you never see know... that you can't quite tell for sure but mm -hmm. you can really hedge your bets on it and um... yeah yeah and yeah, with the with the added difficulty cards and the different tiers and the goals that you can you can reach to. So, how many times have you played this solo? Is it just a couple of times on Tabletopia? Uh, for the video, I think I played it about eight times in wow. preparation. Okay, yeah, but, but maybe two or three of those were complete losses. So right. Um, yeah, I got I got pretty used to it at the end. Although yeah. that was some, it was quite a few months ago now. Right. But it was good to come back to it like this. Yeah. 
But well, I've never well, used the difficulty cards. I, I, right. I've not even seen those. I can't even remember if they're on if okay. they're on the Tabletopia version. Yeah, they might not be. Um, but once you get the physical game, you will you'll be doing a solo video for this as well, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll do another playthrough with the actual game. Yeah. Yeah, and that was two and a half hours. That was so pretty good with a, with a lot of talking as well. With a lot of talking and me looking a couple of things up. If I did this again now solo, it'd be two hours. Yeah, which for a game of this depth, that's a lot of stuff going on, I think, in a two hour game. So, yeah, cool. Right. Well, I will say good night, Andy. Thank you very much for joining me again. We will do this again another time with Vittel's next solo game, whatever that will be. Well, we know what that will be. <laughs> weather machine, I guess, yeah. That will be weather machine. So, yeah, Just... join me and Andy in about a year's time uh, when we're going to be doing a, a solo playthrough together of, of Vittel's, Vittel's next game. So, yeah, I'll say good night to you and then well, I'll say good night to everybody me. else. Thank you very much, Andy. Oh, cheers, Paul. Thanks. Uh, and if you are interested Ooh. in Andy's stuff, his YouTube channel is One Man and His Meeple. Uh, and he is on Twitter at one man and his meeple, and he does he does solo playthroughs, and he does proper solo playthroughs. He doesn't he doesn't get guests on like me to help him out. Um, it's it's just him playing solo games, and he's he's got loads of them on his channel. So yeah, go go and check him out. Uh, Johnny's also saying it's ninety minutes after a couple of games. Yeah, I I think it it could be if you're used to it. If you're like me, who likes to sort of stop, think, forget where they are, and then have to remember it, then it's it's probably a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, this was this was fantastic. I, re I really enjoyed this, and thank you very much in the chat for, um, yeah, for watching along. Obviously, thanks to Vittel for for being in the chat. If he's still there, I don't know if he is. Um, thank you to David Turtsy who joined us earlier on before he disappeared, and thank you to Eagle Griffin Games for your uh, continued support. Obviously, working with uh, you know Vittel, Eno Tool, and Eagle Griffin Games, the four the four of us sort of working together, with of course obviously all of the help from the different developers that have that have helped out with this. Uh, yeah, it's just great. And yeah, um, be working on his next project, Weather Machine, next year. So that, that's the next one <laughs> that I'll be working on. But for now, I'm going to say goodnight. Um, yeah, thank you very much for joining me and hello to everybody who is joining this afterwards. Please give the video a thumbs up. Even if you're watching this live now, please click that little thumb icon. And if you do get a chance to leave a comment later on, that would be great because that really helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you like the content that I make and want to help me carry on making more stuff, uh, please consider supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. But for now, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you very much. See you soon. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.